Welcome to the show. Tonight on the MMA Holes, an extravaganza. My name is Mystic Moss, the King of the Dragons, and JBM, the Queen of the Dragons. We are ready to hit it into high gear tonight. The fights have begun. Get it. Get it. The MMA holes. How's everyone doing? How you doing? How you doing? You may be wondering what's going on in the world of the MMA holes. Well, we're here and we're alive and we are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. How's everyone doing, chat? We got some Thursday night gaming. Big story. Dropperuski's over here. Conor McGregor accused. A roppage, bathroom rape, you know? Just another day at the office for Conor McGregor. UFC releases a statement about Conor McGregor. And uh, let me read this statement over here. It's in our description. <laughs> it's like, it's like, Jesus, what is going on? What's up with the UFC? What's up with, what's up? Just like last night, I went on this whole rant about the UFC. And then this thing pops up. So it says the organization is aware of recent allegations regarding Conor McGregor and will continue to gather additional details regarding the incident. UFC will allow the legal process to pay out, play out excuse me, before making any additional statements. So it seems like <laughs> it seems like it seems like the UFC is like, well, what do we do now? This came out of nowhere. So for those of you who live under a rock and you're not, I feel like it's like Mr. Rogers, how he starts putting on his clothes as he's talking. It's a beautiful day. I'm just putting my glasses on. Um, yeah, so so when he punched the mascot, allegedly the mascot got injured and went to the hospital, all this stuff. By the way, dude, shout out to Johnny Bravo Films. The guy is hilarious taking indirect shots at people and giving them shout outs at the same time. One of the funniest things I've seen. So check out Johnny Bravo Films. Um, very funny dude. And he does it in a very in <laughs> interesting way. Um, I, I reached out and was laughing. But um, but anyway, he was talking about the Conor McGregor punch in the mascot and why are people believing it and all that stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, so the night he went there and punched the mascot, apparently, according to uh, the news... He went out and what up, Casey? Casey does it again. He does it again. He's a machine. Casey is a he is a gifting machine. And Omar. Omar gets the gifted membership. Thank you, Casey. Thank you very much. By the way, we Jesse is she's hanging in there. And uh we got we got uh we got mom and Monica downstairs on standby. It's a whole thing. So we'll get into that a little later. But um, 
Yeah, so Conor McGregor, apparently his security guard and or some security guard and him dragged a girl in the bathroom and had their way with her. I don't I don't know. We don't we don't we we're trying to figure out what's going on here. He denied it, of course. Like he was like, Yes, I did that. So <laughs> so we shall see how that unfolds. The idea of him fighting before the year is up has gone like right out the window. Like we were just talking about how the uh, you, uh, getting tested by USADA and all this stuff. I have a feeling that you know the people behind the scenes are like, okay, this is this is about to drop. So Dana White, you got any news to release? Because this is about to drop. And sure enough, Dana White does release something, which I found hilarious. It's almost a comical release of information, and I'll talk about that as well. But uh, let me know in the chat. Do you think Connor did it? I mean, it could be some girl, you know, just trying to get some money out of Connor, and it could, or it could be Connor was all coked up. I mean, you know, if you go, if you're going out dressed like this, it doesn't look like you're, you're <laughs> you have good intentions. You dress like a a devil's a devil in his devil pajamas or something. I don't know. It's weird. He is actually accused. It's real. Like, it's legit real. Punching the mascot, that's nonsense. But the UFC releases, if you're just jumping in, the UFC released a statement on us. Yeah, this is this is legit. Like, legit and a legit accus accusation. Now, not saying he legit did it. Not saying that. He wasn't guilty of anything. But he was accused of something that's <laughs> pretty ridiculous. <laughs> pretty ridiculous, man. Uh, he wants to get tested, but he does... He's doing too much cocaine, pretty much. I feel that women wants money. Like, listen, if you were to ask me, did he rape someone in a bathroom? No, I wouldn't. I would say no. It's it's a bizarre, like, dude, everything's coming back together for you. For you to go rape a girl in the bathroom. Like, what, what are you going to get out of it? You're Conor McGregor. You could, like, there's so many things you can do, you know, that's fucked up and get away with. Raping a girl in the bathroom, it makes no sense at all. It doesn't make any sense. So I would say that he didn't do it, but listen, man, it's just a bad look. It's a, it's just bad. You know, it's just a bad look. Maybe it was Scott Coker's daughter that went out there and says, oh, or I don't know, someone that's like anti-UFC. Maybe it was Nganu. Maybe Nganu hired some chick to fucking say this. PFL, maybe, I don't know. Shit on the UFC. So Dana White makes an announcement. Let me pull that up real quick. And um, I'm going to shit on it, guys. Because that's what I do. Uh, lately, I've been... Li I, this is the first time in many years I've been really rough on the UFC. Everything about it right now is... is it, it feels like a train wreck. It really does. Like, everything... Everything... Any information that comes into my direction, I'm saying to myself, this is, this is fucked up. Like, everything is fucked up about this. And it's not just Connor. It's everything. Everything is just nonsense. The Nganu thing got old after a while. It's like, this is fucking nonsense. UFC 289 just happened. Um, you know, uh, the Ultimate Fighter force-feeding us. The Ultimate Fighter and Conor McGregor and the Nelk Boys. and Like, it's just like, it's getting, to the, it's getting ridiculous. Am I watching Bellator tomorrow? So that was the plan. That's the plan. Um, but, where it, like, we're literally... We're like here, you know, I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it, but um, Jesse's ready to pop like at any second. So we're there. We're, we're right there. It's just a matter of when is it going to happen? So I wasn't going to stream tonight. We, we were like this close to being in the hospital. Uh, these guys, these girls uh, nowadays are not worth the stay. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Not at all. I mean, let's be serious. It's very simple. If you're going to run around and play that game, and you got all that money, it's it's very simple to pull, play that game and not get caught. It's very, very simple. So the fact that he just blatantly raped some girl in the bathroom, it just it just doesn't add up. Nothing, none of it adds up. Um, but we don't know all the information. We don't. But those are the accusations. The UFC releases a statement. And um, yeah, the idea of Connor like fighting before the year is up, I feel like that ship has sailed. I'm going to stick with it. You know, I'm going to stick with the prediction because we still have a couple. We have it until tomorrow. But it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Bellator is interesting. The the uh, Pitbull fight at Bantamweight is pretty interesting. I'm rooting for Romero. Me too. I want Romero to win as well. I love you. Okay, here we go. 
UFC. I'm going to play this real quick. Dana's. And then we're going to play some games. Just hang out, man. Um, we're, we're just going to hang out. So the UFC, anytime there's like weird news that pops up, just, it just like, hey, what a coincidence because we have breaking news. Like, it's just like, like, what is, like, this is just more nonsense. This is like, I'm not stupid. Like the Ngannou thing pops and then all of a sudden the UFC has a big announcement. Conor McGregor, who is the face of tough right now, they're talking about him returning and all this stuff. And then he gets accused of rape. All of a sudden, miraculously, the UFC has breaking news. The people that were kind of getting on me last night were saying, oh, or even when I posted the thing on Twitter, um, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's just a bunch of nonsense. Like, nonsense going on. I know why they released this. It's not, it's just not, oh, it so happens that's the same day that Connor got accused of fucking raping some girl. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? We just so, we just have some random news to pop out there. Breaking. Like, you know, it's just, it's just a PR stunt after PR stunt. It's like, I guess maybe when I was just like a casual fan and I just loved the sport for what it was and I wasn't in the game and covering the sport, it was easy. I just watched it, enjoyed it, watched people beat each other up and I didn't, but now I'm so plugged into this world that I just, when I see the bullshit, I just like, this is fucking nonsense. So here's the announcement. What's up everybody? UFC President Dana White here. On August 5th, we are headed back to the great city of Nashville. For the first time since 2019, and we are bringing an incredible main event. Incredible. Let's play the game. Number four ranked Bantamweight contender Corey Sandhagen, who is an absolute stud for taking this fight against the guy nobody, and I mean nobody, wanted to fight. Undefeated, 16-0, has never lost a round in the UFC, Umar Nurmagomedov. Now, this is the biggest news, right? Okay, this is actually good news, right? This is like, oh shit, Corey's Corey's taking this fight? Like, Corey shouldn't. This is a very dangerous fight for Sandhagen. But the fact that Corey Sandhagen nutted up and says, I'll take this son of a bitch. No one else wants him. I'll take him. That is badass. And and Umar is, he's so ferocious that um, how could you not be interested in seeing any of his fights? His fan base is, is, is loony and they're crazy ab about him and they're supporting him. He, no one wants to fight him. And Corey says, yeah, I'll do it. Okay, I'm in, man. Like, this is actually a really good fight. Just so happens to be breaking news today. And then it all falls apart because I'm like, you know what? Let me listen to this thing because would it be something if this thing ended with saying, and Connor is returning before the year is up? Like, I was waiting for something like that. I was waiting for my fucking nuts to be blown off my body, you know? That's what I was waiting for. Like, this is a good fight. I'm not upset with this. I, like, all I could think of is... Corey, why? Why would you do that? You know? When you suddenly realize uh, Moss is a midget. When did you... I, I'm always a midget. What are you talking about? I'm 5'4". I was always a midget. Uh, so this is a really good fight here, but I was still waiting for a little more juice, right? I, I don't know. There was something about it. So Nashville gets this fight. Interesting uh, that Corey is taking it. Very dangerous, but I love the the badass of Corey. I love the storyline of Umar because this guy could definitely be a champion. This is as high level a fight as you can get. It's what I love about making fights like this. You have two of the very best in the world facing off in the prime of their careers. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to miss this one. No, I don't. I don't. I'm in. Next up, I am pumped to announce our return to Singapore on August 26th. Okay, The event will be headlined by two fan favorites as former UFC featherweight champion and number two ranked contender Max Holloway. Max Holloway. Interesting. Very interesting. Who could Max be fighting? This is great. Max, you know, listen, Max just took on Allen, did his thing. Max is a fucking beast, former champion. Max is like the, the roadblock to a title. Love Max, right? Get ready for this. Faces the Korean zombie. What? <laughs> Great news for the Korean zombie. He has another chance to get his fucking head battered for fucking five rounds or finished. I love the Korean zombie. I'm a fan of the Korean zombie. But what? Does anyone in their right mind think Korean zombie is going to beat Max Blessed Holloway? What? So you're going to do this in Singapore? Dude, are you kidding me? You kidding me? Why are you doing Korean Zombie dirty like this? But it's a big opportunity if Korean Zombie wins, he's right back in the mix, right? Is that what is that the narrative? 
As Brendan Schaub likes to say, is that the narrative? What is that? What is that nonsense? You went from Corey Sanhagen to an Umar and Amaga Madoff, which is a great thing. They're putting that in Nashville. Like, what? Okay, cool. That's great. Great fight. And then you go to this? Dude, that's just fucked. I feel so bad for Korean Zombie, man. I, I feel so bad for this dude. So, listen. Let's see. Let me just look at the rankings real quick. As soon as I heard Korean Zombie, I'm like, what the? F what? The hell is going on? All right. Uh, Korean Zombie. <clears throat> Where you at now? Where you at? Where you at? Here we go. Seven. He's at seven. Max is two. Korean Zombie seven. How? I, I mean, how can we? Why are we not running back? Maybe Ortega, even though Ortega got his ass battered. And Josh Emmett. Wow, the Korean Zombie's next. What the fuck? That's next. Oh my god. Uh, make Max go up or something. I don't fucking know. Dude, this is just nuts. Smoking bowl for the Moss and Jess. A wonderful. I can't smoke anything right now because I'm on standby, baby. I wish I could. I wish I could uh, eat an edible and get like go off into the space, but I can't. So I'm just gonna be complaining about UFC. I mean, I guess if you look at the rankings, there's really not much of a choice. And uh, man, featherweight's a mess. It's a mess. Yeah, he's like next. Oh my god. Well, that's an easy win for Max. Listen, I love both guys. That, this is what bothers me about this fight. I like the Korean Zombie, and I like Blessed. And I don't want to see either guy lose, right? But I got to be honest with you. I, I like I want Korean Zombie to win. I would love to see Korean Zombie just hoist, have that belt around his waist. It'd be so much fucking fun, you know, to see that. But um, that's not going to happen. Max is going to batter him. So that's happening. That's the other piece of news. And Conor, Conor McGregor raped damage control. Because that's what's happening, right? We all know what's happening here, Dana. We all know why this breaking news is dropping today. These are two of the best in the world. We're trying to get themselves... Yes, Lady C is downstairs. downstairs. I bet Zombie isn't allowed to fight in USA anymore. May die in the ring. Yeah, yeah, maybe they won't sanction a fight with him anymore. I don't know. South Korea street food looks so good. Just call an Uber. I wish. We're not very close to the hospital. So I don't know when this kid's going to come out. I have no idea. He's there. Head's ready. The head's ready to pop out, man. Just is ready to pop. But, you know, we got to see. We got to see. When he's ready. I was back in the title. Did they just show a Yair Rod Rodriguez highlight? World, we're trying to get them. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's when Korean Zombie battered the shit out of Yair, and Yair took his soul at the in the final round. Right? Wasn't it an elbow? What was that? That's the highlight you show with the Korean Zombie. Can someone refresh my memory here? Here's Korean he's Zombie. The Korean Zombie. Badass. These are two of the. You notice like like the even the walkout. He's got he's got the Reebok gear on. Like he hasn't been decent since Reebok. Is the Look at this. These are the highlights we're getting from the Korean Zombie. Yeah, Korean Zombie is fighting Max Holloway. Reebok. And Zombie. He's this is where he got knocked out by Yair Rodriguez. These are the highlights? This is the guy that's going to fight Blessed? There's Lady C. Lady C is there. There she is. This is what's going to happen? Featherweight's a mess because Max and Volka. Yeah, dude, Max gotta go up. We need to. We need to do something. We need to show Max the money, move him up, so we could free up this featherweight division. He's ruined it. He's too good. He's ruined it. Reverse uppercut elbow. That was it. That's the highlight we're gonna get, man. That is the fucking highlight. These are two of the best in the world. Two of the best in the world. No, no, he is not. He is not. Oh. No, he's not the best in the world anymore. What are you talking about? If he was the best, you wouldn't be showing highlights of when he lost. And this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This is this is the problem. This is the problem with the UFC. I got my UFC Fight Club shirt on. This is the problem. 
It's just L after L. Who are you selling this shit to? When Let me ask you in the chat. And I'm a Korean zombie fan. I like this guy. I really do. It's a bummer seeing him lose. When you heard Max Holloway was fighting the Korean zombie, were you like, yes! Were you excited or were you like, oh, this poor Korean zombie's got to get killed? Tomatoes at Dana? Oh my god. Agreed. I'm, I'm not... I know I'm not in the chat a lot, but I love that we've all been here from the beginning of Mayhills for Life. Thank you. Hey, thank you very much. Very nice. Max is just going to break more records versus... Yeah, Max is going to just... This is going to be an easy paycheck. Easy paycheck. In fact, I mean, Max is due for a finish, right? So... Like a highlight reel knockout? It could happen. Dude, the Korean Zombie's not going to knock out Max. As much as I would love to see Korean Zombie get a knockout win here and me eat my words... I would love to see it. It's not going to happen. Max kept talking about the Korean zombie for months, and I knew he was going to fight him. I don't blame him for wanting to fight him. Yeah, he's going to go out on his shield, right? Well, a lot of impersonation is going to be happening that, that fight week. But it's just weird, man. It's weird. I get it. He's the one next, so the UFC has an argument. But, man, this is just a very lopsided fight. The dude's still got the Reebok logo on his waist. He's got the Reebok. They're showing highlight. He lost his fight. Reebok. We're trying to get themselves back into title contention. <laughs> and this is an all for Singapore. The day after. They're both trying to get themselves back into. No, Max is in title contention. Korean Zombie's not even close. He's seven. On Sunday, the road to the UFC semifinals take place, which is the tournament where all the top prospects in Asia. It's possible two joints. We don't know anymore. We don't know. Like, he's there. He's ready. He's ready. If Jesse wants to come on, whether it's on or off um, camera, you know, maybe she'll come on and explain it. But yeah, he's there. Korean Zombie versus Leonard Garcia was one of the best fights ever. Listen, Korean Zombie is a legend. Korean Zombie, I, I want it in the Hall of Fame. Like that guy is, he's just a fucking G, man. He's a G, but the way the way he's been fighting lately, he, his best days are way behind him. Max ever been KO TKO'd? Uh, no. Right? He didn't Poirier. What did he submit him or some shit? Right? What didn't he get submitted or something? Hold on a second. I'm trying to dust off my max memory. I feel like there was one finish. Um, uh, but Max is not the type of guy to not you can knock out. Help me out here. Let me see. Let's see, blessed. 24 se I mean, gee, what a career, man. And there's one more fight in the announcement. So I, I heard this, and I was like, what? Like, I was just freaking out. I was like, the Korean zombie versus blessed. Kind of nonsense. Kind of nonsense they're trying to throw in my direction here. Okay, here we go. Uh... Okay, let's see. Let's see. Decision, decision, decision. Uh, blemishes, decision. Yeah, triangle. Yeah, it was poor. You got submitted. Triangle armbar. Okay, my. I'm not. I don't. I don't have dementia yet. It's not quite there. That's actually a pretty good memory. So it finished once uh, by uh, triangle armbar and it was against Poirier. Good job, Chris. Every once in a while, you can pull it out of your ass. Yeah. So he's never been knocked out. Oh. Uh. Yeah. So so yeah. I mean, Max is a beast. He's a G. But the, the UFC's got to show him the money, make him go up to one fifty five, so we could free up this featherweight division. All right. Um. Let's see what the rest of Dana's announcement. Compete to figure out who is ready to join the UFC. It is going to be a badass weekend. Finally, after a historic first event, we are headed Come on, Dana. back to Paris, France. Look at this. Get ready for this. We're going back to Paris, France. So immediately, okay, Cyril gone. Like, I, okay, I get it. Cyril gone's coming back. He's going to fight in France. Good for him. That's, that's good stuff. Who's he going to fight? The main event will be France's own number one ranked heavyweight, Cyril gone, and he will take on Sergei Spivak.
Wonderful, wonderful. Tropic Tom! I've been busy. Is this where I sign up for the hot toilet sex? Yes. Is the sex hot or is it a heated toilet seat? Both are acceptable, I suppose. <laughs> Both had the same time, even better. Thank you, Tropic Tom. Hey, man. Hope everything's well. Appreciate that very much. I appreciate your support, you sexy bastard. It is a heated toilet, but be, pre be prepared. Connor is a horny mofo. He's ready. He's ready. He's ready for Uranus. Thank you, Tom. Spivak versus Gone. <laughs> what? Come on, stop with this shit, man. I don't give a fuck. Like I'm like. So here's the deal. Here's the deal, guys. Dana White said that Conor McGregor is accused of rape. Let's do some damage control and break some news. The first fight, good one. Umar versus Sanhagen. It makes me scratch my head why Corey would take this thing, but Corey's a badass for doing it. Great fight. Love it. Um, but it's a weird announcement on a weird day at a weird time. Like, UFC, why don't we drop some crazy news? Why don't we drop some news, you know, on a day where nothing's going on, where, where you don't have to do damage control? I don't know. So that's the announcements from Dana. UFC releases that statement about Connor. They're going to keep their mouth shut until they find out exactly what happened. And it's just a complete shit show. They they really felt that they were going to end this year super strong. The you know, John Jones coming back, Connor McGregor, you know, wrapping up the year year MGM against Chandler, that whole thing and then Papui <laughs> explosion. Bye-bye. France might care, but the rest of the world does. Yeah, listen, they get they had gone over there. Hopefully, they they blow the roof off that place. Um, where is a uh, Spivak sitting? Hey, you know what? Spivak is like he's like one of them sleepers, man. Just like just doing his thing. So you know, credit to him for that. Heavyweight. So Spivak is where is he sitting at? He's eight. Zero guns one versus eight. What? <laughs> Hey, Cyril Gunn, you look like hot dog shit against John Jones, the greatest of all time. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to give you a number eight so you can just beat the fucking brakes off of him in Paris. How's that sound? Sound good? Cool. Hey, Max Holloway, you want to fight? Well, listen, you beat everybody. How about you beat the shit out of a legend Korean zombie? All right, cool, good. Uh, hey, Corey Sanhagen, listen, we don't know what we're going to do with you. How about you fi fight a young rising star in Umar Namaga Madoff that no one wants to fight? Yeah, cool. The three announcements. Where's, where's Umar sitting at? Umar is 11. Corey is <laughs> four. Whatever. The three announcements that the UFC puts together. Three, the three announcements they put together are these massive lopsided ranked fights. You know why? Because Conor McGregor raped someone in the bathroom. <laughs> Quick. Break the news about our lopsided matchmaking. Let's go. Although Umar has a legit shot. For sure. Yeah, so that's that. That's my, that's my, in a nutshell, before I start playing video games, that's my grumpy rant. I'm going to do a new segment called Grumpy UFC Rants, Rants, until they fix the problem. Anyway, Chad, give, you, give me your final words on this, or we're just going to roll into some games, have a little fun, hang with the boys. Hang with the boys. Uh oh. Wonderful. wonderful. We got Kai Noto coming in. Sipa Yossi Ronak. Sipar Asi Rono. I don't know what that means. Is that like is that like Connor's a rapist? Oh yeah, it's Connor's a rapist backwards. Well, I mean, <laughs> he could be, he could very well be. At this point, I'm hoping he is a rapist. Like I'm at like I need something interesting here. Listen, I don't want anyone to get hurt or anything like that. But you know, like, give me some juice. Give me something to talk about here. Let's just let's let's hope he's guilty. So so we can it could get really interesting. I don't know. Thank you, Kainoto. Appreciate that. Uh, it's crazy, man. Like she was able to elbow Connor so hard and so many times. She then ran past all the security. <laughs> Dude, like the, the rape story sounds so crazy. Like it doesn't make any sense. It, honestly, I can't wrap my head around it. Like, and I'm not trying to just defend Connor. Think about this. It's very easy to cheat, right? It's super easy to cheat. And if you have a fucking boatload of money and a lot of cocaine, you know, you can you can do whatever the hell you want. For him to just randomly rape someone in a bathroom at an NBA finals game, it doesn't make any sense. Like there's there's that like and people will be like, "Well, he's coked up. He's doing this." Listen. 
Listen, if he's going to fucking run around, do, he has another kid on the way, right? Didn't he just announce a fourth kid, right? I, it just it just doesn't line up. It sounds like a girl, you know, begging for money. But at this stage of the game, it's it's like, what what's next? The real question is, uh, where are the uh, fuck is Yuri? I know, right? I hope he comes. Listen, that, that injury was, was pretty rough. Did you all see the clip? Of Holloway showing Ortega how to block his punches mid-fight. No. I saw Buckley talking about in an interview that he wants to fight uh, Shavkat. Buckley wants Shavkat. Dude, Buckley's out of his mind. He can pay an escort. Dude, right? You can get a hooker. Right? Yeah, I want to get my rocks off. A hooker. What is he? This is not, this is not, he's not going to just rape some random girl in a bathroom. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Connor was in Miami. Uh, he could have gotten a high class hooker. Yes, yes. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, listen, is Connor a cheater? Probably. Connor probably goes around. I mean, if you're running around in a velour fucking suit like this, and you got more money than anything, and you got you know that devil on your shoulder, Connor McGregor clearly could fucking play the game. You know, be a nudnik. Got a three kids at home, one on the way. Get his rocks off in a hooker or something. I don't know. Why the hell would he rape a girl in the bathroom? Makes no sense. And a girl that looks like this. This is actually the girl, you guys. By the way, that's a little AI. That's an AI-generated woman. She doesn't exist. If you could tell with her weird limbs and her weird face. But it was hilarious. I couldn't get the AI to do an actual girl on the toilet. Or girl in the bathroom. So I had to convince the toilet. I had to manipulate the toilet in there. And then I asked AI to put a woman sitting. I couldn't say sitting on the toilet. I had to say sitting. And then they got her on the toilet. Then I had to mix her up a little bit. And that's what we came out. I love how weirdly warped it looks. I fuck yeah, I love this AI stuff, man. It's out of this world, man. Connor vanishes two days later. Iris McDonald, Connor Burger Special. <laughs> You're telling uh, he wasn't uh, going to the after party where... There would be women every... I know. Like, it just... It, the story makes no sense at all. It makes no sense. So, I don't think he did it. I think it's just a nonsense. Someone trying to go for money. If I had to guess, that's what I would think it is. But at this stage of the game, it's like... He's not in the testing pool. You know? He's running around partying. Uh, now he's accused of rape. The UFC does a panic move and releases a, this, this breaking news the same day. Coincidentally... You know, it's like, geez, man, dude, say the whole rant that I did yesterday. Now you understand why I'm ranting. Now you get it. It's just never ending, never ending nonsense coming out of the UFC. All right. We'll keep the conversation going over here. I'm going to play a little video games. We're going to hang out with the boys. I appreciate you guys stopping by. It's always a pleasure hanging out. This is our more romantic channel. Not the MMA hoops. Wonderful, wonderful. We got Tropic Tom dropping a deuce, baby. Mystical Moss, master manipulator of commodes. Put that on your resume. Master manipulator of commodes. Uh, put that on your resume. I will. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what that means, but I will. Immediately. Thank you. All the donations tonight are, I'm going to actually take the money. And try to lure the baby out of Jesse's vagina. I'm gonna actually put the money. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on a hook and I'm gonna on a fishing rod and I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna wait for his little baby hands to try to grab the money and as soon as he grabs it, I'm gonna yank it back and I'm gonna try to drag that baby. I'm gonna try to convince Logan to arrive. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best. So every donation that comes in right now, where are we at? We got we got four. We got we got six dollars. I'm gonna put six on the hook, baby. And I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that baby out. I'm going to get him out of here. Like Nirvana, yes. Today was the second attempt of trying to get through the second Avatar. It's not... Like, the story's eh, but the visual effects are so good, right? We we couldn't do it. We we, we failed again. He only raped on weekdays, uh, please. He is always innocent on weekends. <laughs> uh, yes, I am very... I mean, how would I not be excited? I'm very excited about it. Do you want to play Fortnite from your account, and we will play from down here? I'll tell you what. If you're going to play Fortnite... Did you know a baseball gave us jazz? Hold on a second here. I hate this. This song is annoying now. It was cool in the beginning. Um, if you want to play Fortnite, I would say do it off camera. 
It'll be a lot better. I, I honestly don't want to play, but I'll watch you guys play. It'll be fun. So I'd say off camera, I'll keep you guys off. Uh, we got two seats over here, very comfortable. Hi, Maybe I'll have dinner. Welcome to the it's up show. to you guys. Uh, let's tell the JBM bad dad jokes that um, he's losing up. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Try it. I I'm up for anything right now. I'm up for anything. If you have any ideas on trying to get this kid out. Never mind. Okay. Listen, I mean, you have the option there. I Like, you know how I am with Fortnite. I'd rather just... Here's the thing. I'd rather... Like, if you guys play Fortnite, I'd rather keep the convo going with the chat while you guys are playing so we can do a little both. But I'm sure they would like to hear you guys chatting. Uh, na convince Jess of a natural birth. We are. Yeah. I bet it's awesome waiting for your baby to arrive. Yeah, it's cool, man. Like, this is the second one, so, you know, it's a little different, but now it's my son, right? I, I didn't cry the first time. I didn't cry, and I was weirded out. I actually was kind of freaked out that I didn't get, like, emotional. Like, I had no emotion. It's really weird, man. I had no emotion. Like, inside, I was very happy. Don't get me wrong. I was very, very happy, but I thought I was going to be, like, super, like, old, like, a lot of dads are like, yeah, yeah, I cried. I got emotional. This, and I had no emotion. I was just, like, holding the baby. I was like, oh, this is amazing. It was, like, such an awesome feeling, but I didn't have, like, any physical emotions. I was like, shit, do I try to cry? Then I was thinking, do I, maybe I will cry with my son? I don't know. But then if I cry for my son... Show what are we doing here? I'm trying to fucking talk to these people. We're gonna be treated to a if I cry at my son and then cry for Ellie, like, do I ever tell Ellie down the road? Like, how does that work? Did you guys cry? Anyone that has kids? Did you get emotional? Am I like? And, and the reason why I'm thinking about this is I was just talking to Jess about I was listening to an interview of Sammy the Bull Gravano. Okay. Sammy the Bull. He was doing this interview. This guy's a psychopath, and he lives in, he lives like <laughs> a town over. Like, this guy's in Scottsdale, for God's sakes. And he was talking about when he killed this guy, he shot him in the head a bunch of times, shot him in the, in, the, in the body. He went home. He hopped in the shower, and he's like, okay, now is when I'm going to have the sweats. I'm going to start panicking like in the movies, right? And he said when that shower hit him, he was calm. Not an emotion in his mind. Just calm. Turned off the shower, hopped in bed, had the best sleep of his li of his life that night. And I was like, this guy's a fucking lunatic. <laughs> and then I'm thinking to myself, wait, hold on a second. I saw my daughter just come out of my, my wife's vagina. It's like a joyous moment. I had no emotion. Am I Sammy the Bull? Will I be able to murder somebody and have zero emotion? Made me think. I've watched all three episodes of Tough 31. Why does Connor always sound out of breath? That's, yeah, it's been going on. It's been going on with the Poirier rematches. Yeah, because people were shitting on his cardio because he was in interviews, he was out of breath. Cry like Nancy Kerrigan. We need proof this time. We do. Carrigan was sexy as fuck. I don't cry, but I was really nervous, though. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure the nerve's going to kick in. But um, I don't know if Jesse is going to jump on. But uh, yeah, nerves will be there. Like, first time it went very fast, so it wasn't like a long, drawn-out thing. It was like, okay, she's in labor. Oh, there's the baby. Sorry. If Jesse decides to come on, I will abort mission with this. But until then, we're going to have some combo. We, we'll talk about little Connor. We'll talk about the UFC. We'll talk about anything tonight. We'll talk about it all. Saving your emotions for Animal and Pinocchio movies. <laughs> yeah, I know. But yeah, you know what's funny? I watched the Arnold Schwarzenegger documentary, and I felt emotion. <laughs> How do I? My daughter comes out, and I and I don't feel emotion. Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, I feel emotion. I mean, documentary, I feel some weird emotion. Like some inspirational, odd emotion. Today we're eating lunch. And this big buffalo is getting mauled by lions that Jesse put on. And um, and I felt emotion. I'm like, I don't know if I want to watch this. Buffalo get mauled by lions. I didn't want to watch that. 
It's just normal not to cry. There are no rules that says you're supposed to cry. I didn't. I still felt emotion. Yeah, but you were going through tremendous pain and all that stuff. Like, I think you you at least were preoccupied, you know, like. Yeah, we didn't cry. Does that mean we don't love our daughter? <laughs> Is that, that, does that mean we're just cold-hearted, horrible human beings? Ticks suck. Imagine having to pick bullets out of your anatomy. Guns are gay. Die like a man, beach. What? I'm, what? Ticks suck. Imagine to pick bullets out of your anatomy. So what are we talking about? Kindergarten cop. No, but I cried during E.T. I cried during Life of Pi, which I got to be honest with you. Life of Pi just ripped my heart out. <laughs> I was a mess. I was a fucking mess. Um, usually it's when it's around animals. I fucking like I'm a big femme. That's why I don't have an animal. Uh, how do I play this? Does anyone remember? Ready? Auto. Auto replace. My guys are tired. I cry when all my kids are born. Did you? Oh, yeah, but you're a chick. You, you have a vagina. <laughs> you know, you got the emotions and stuff like that. But Jesse didn't cry. I don't know. It's weird, right? Maybe Jesse's, maybe Jesse's more cold-hearted than me. First day of school, there will be, I have a feeling, when Jesse, when, when Jesse, when, when Jesse too, when Ellie hits those goals, milestones, I may get it. You know what? Oh, you know when I'll cry like a baby if I'm alive? Ellie gets married and I got to dance with her. Oh, like Jesse never gave that to her dad. Like we got to, we got to do that. We got to have some sort of ceremony so, so Jess Pop can get that, you know? I'll probably cry like a fucking baby. I cry like a baby in my first go when I was dancing with my mom. I was sobbing. <laughs> Maybe because I knew the mistake I was making. Maybe that's why I was sobbing. I was like, well. Whoa. Why did I, why did I swing at that? This is a nice day in Detroit. If you listen closely, you could hear the gunshots in the background. You could hear that. You could hear the house, the 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 uh, the houses on fire. Get it! Come on, drop, bitch! I know it's bad. A hundred dollars, dude. We could use that hundred dollar dono. D Jesse might say, "Fuck it." <laughs> eat the <laughs> Jesse, Jesse might say, "You know what? Just fucking bite the bullet. Eat the gummy. We'll figure it out." <laughs> Jesse, just give me the word. Oh my god. I tell you what, I would love to be high at the hospital. Like, I feel like it was Oh fucking hell, baby. Did you just see that? Did you see that bomb? Nimmo hit his first home run. Smoked it. Oh, there goes the hundred bucks. Smoked it. Oh, Jess. Jess, we could fucking take a cab. I think we I, we need that money, Jess. Yeah, if I was high during it, I could I would just be like in the zone. I might cry then if I was high. Look at the fans. They're, they're standing up in disgust. In disgust. Almost 400 footer. Dude, that felt good. That felt really good. Wow. That felt great. Oh, there goes that. Yeah, the hospital's not close. <laughs> it's not close. It's not very close. We picked like the fur furthest hospital we could find. I can't believe I smoked that one. Oh. Shit swung, shit swung, shit swung, shit swung. So we got a nice relaxing baseball game going on. We Oh, fucking hell. That fooled me. After um, I spoke a little bit about Conor McGregor's rap situation, he's a rapist. Uh, that's that's gonna land. There we go. That's two bases. Slow polar bear running around the bases. There he goes. 
And we also spoke about Dana's announcement. His big announcement that he released. <laughs> Being high. Is, has anyone experienced a childbirth high? Has anyone in the chat? We have some very, like, we have a very marijuana addicted people in our chat. I'm sure there's someone that did. <laughs> Jesse will take the wheel. I could bring this guy home. Although, Pete is a slow poke. Oh, jeez, man. He goes right after me. That's one probably not even going to be close to the plate. Oh, it is. Ah! Oh. Nothing can go wrong, man. If I... Oh, man, that would be so much fun. How did you... <laughs> how did you welcome your song into the world? I was high as a kite. My, I feel like it would, like, being high enhances everything, right? So I feel like the moment would be so escalated. Maybe if we make a mistake and have a third by accident. Maybe I'll get high for that one. I'm a stoner indeed. I hate my life. Jay Blowful. Yeah, what happened? Jay Blowful. That name sounds familiar. It would make sober Carl. I agree, man. I agree. I think, yeah, it would be a crazier experience. Like, my mind would be, like, would explode watching the baby's head coming out of the vagina. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Could you imagine seeing that high? Like, holy shit. <laughs> Jess, you won't believe what I'm watching right now. <laughs> imagine, imagine, oh my god, Jesse would want to kill me. I'm like, this is amazing. Yo, let me get my phone. This is, this is incredible. As Dana White said, this is incredible. Ah. It says Carnage, the song just plays. <laughs> Make babies with Carnage. Yeah, it's weird not doing these streams high. <clears throat> oh, I got him. I got him. Here's the home run hitter. Catch it. I'm seeing this is in color right now. <laughs> Make babies with carnage. So we're due for a new donation song. Um, I think I'm going to... Get rid of Come On Ronda. So if you like the Come On Ronda donation, you better get it out of your system. Because I think I'm going to move Come On Ronda to another coming donation. Wonderful, wonderful. If you know where I'm going with this. Oh, shit. What do we got, Tropic? Two joints came out of the womb with a pair of lit doobies in his mouth. Does that count as being high at a birth? Yes. Little known fact. Two joints is indigenous Canadian. The chief of the tribe named him at birth. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tom, and thank you. That is true. That's all true stuff. I was there, I know. Do I like the Schmo? No, I don't. Like, not, I don't, not like I hate him or anything like that. I don't know him as a person, but there's something weird about him. About Dave. Dave sees like a weird dude. Um, And the Schmo bit. Like, I don't even know why he does it anymore. Like, he doesn't have to do it anymore. Like, why Why is the schmo doing the schmo? Oh, shit. Get him. Fucking hell. All right, I'll strike this. I'll, stri I'll strike this bum out anyway. Don't worry, guys. I'll strike this bum out. Watch this. Watch this. Watch me strike this bum out. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Got this, guys. Oh, come on, man. It's nonsense. Oh my god, dude. Is he gonna move over again? Get him, get him. You got him, you got him. You're out, you're out. Get out of here, you aggressive piece of poop. Get out of here. Tell this guy to get out. Get out! Get out of here. Get out of here. Tell that guy to sit down. This guy got too aggressive. <clears throat> I 
Thoughts on all the alien propaganda? I don't know what's going on. What is up with Pete? You, were you coming in the chat the other day about aliens? Am I? I must live in La La Land. I don't know anything about this alien stuff. Yeah, Jesse's been doing the spicy stuff. She has. If Moss played Dead Before Dead, Dead Before Daylight, or Dead Dead Before Deadlight, with that Dead Before Deadlight, what the fuck? Poor people would die without peanut butter. Yes, they would all. Yeah, if you want to get rid of poor people, just stop producing peanut butter. You'll just have middle class and rich people. The they would all die off. There you go. So the reason why I swung at that, no matter what, first pitch he's been throwing strikes. So I just swung. I'm jealous, two joints. I am jealous. If anyone's high right now. Wow, hitting streak. Ten straight games. It's pretty good. The replays in this game were just out of this world. Look at this. <clears throat> yeah, maybe this game is not the most fun to watch. Oh, shit, I just hit into two. God damn it, man. But, man, it's fun to play. I can't believe I just hit into a double play. I throw 300 on Alonzo home run once a week. Do you really? 300 on a Alonzo to hit a home run? I mean, he's been on fire. Does he? I think he still has the most homers in the majors, right? Fucking hell. Man, I had such a good start. Oh, there goes that in. There was a video of a parent alien in the backyard near a forklifts. Yo, someone send this to me on Discord or something. Check it out. It was funny when Paulie Shore met the schmo on Fight Companion, just roasted him a bit. Did he? What did he say? The only thing I saw from Fight Companion was Shab's clip. We played it on air where they were talking about the Oliveira finish and Paulie Shore was melting into the sleep. Oh, I did see. They said that Schmo and Pauly Shore went out off a of coke or something like that. They went to the bathroom together. And everyone was saying they were doing bumps together. That would be hilarious. If that happened. Pauly Shore is a weird dude, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. The Mets, man, they got some bats, but... Sheesh. Their pitching is... Ugh. Come on, baby. There you go. Let's go, Peterson. Let's go, buddy. We're gonna we're gonna hit into it. He's gonna hit a double play. Oh, here it comes. Watch the double play balls coming. Watch this. Watch the double play. Watch. Ready? Ready? Watch. Watch. Watch it. Ah. Oh. We're gonna go in again. We're gonna go again. Gonna go in again. Did we strike him out? Shit. I'm trying to get this guy to fucking. Damn this guy. Here it is. Connor raped the schmo. I hope so. That'd be great. Oof. Got lucky there. Okay, we, here it is. Here it is. Ready? Here it is. Oh, fuck. All right, we got this. We got this. Get, get back to first. Does anyone actually like playing the UFC games? Too basic, get complicated for me. Dude, Mike, it is the worst. The worst. UFC 4 is terrible. It's legit. It's probably one of the worst games I've ever played. It's horrible. I, I don't think I've played a game that I got sick of so fast. And it's so weird because I love I love the sport. I don't understand. Like You made you made three other games. You can't you mean tell me you can't master this shit anymore? They did there was rumblings though before the year is up. That they might have a new game out. Let's go. I always hated the shop since his Ultimate Fighter days when he was talking trash to Kimbo Slice. Yeah, I, you know what? I didn't hate Shab in the UFC. I didn't. I'd be alive if I said I did. Um, but I didn't really pay attention to much, like outside or microphone stuff, interviews. I didn't pay attention to any of that shit. I just, as a fighter, he was he was interesting to me. 
But my goodness, the, the podcast thing, forget it. All right, I'm gonna strike this guy out, guys. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. There it is. Fifteen. <laughs> Undisputed three and UFC half. Those are good. UFC two better. UFC two wasn't that the one with Connor and Ronda on the cover? Okay, I got out of that inning. Top of the third, one nothing. Nuevo York Mets. All right, so we got. Let's see. We got $10. I'm going to dangle. I'm going to da dangle by Jesse's vagina to try to get this kid. Oh, jeez. To try to get this kid out. To try to lure him out. As soon as his hand grabs those $10, I'm going to I'm going to yank it. Yank that baby right out of the snatch. Let's go. Let's go. Drop. Yes. Let's go. We got this. We got this, guys. That kid's coming out. After the stream. Nimmo popped a home run inside. Can he hit another? Oof. Damn, that was like almost in the same spot. But he's trying to he's trying to hit me. He's trying to get this double play. Ah, there it is. No, no, no. All right, we moved him over. Two outs. What's up, Sean? Starfield? Is that like Seinfeld in space? <laughs> Eskimo, brother. Starfield. Ah! Bloop! Bloop! Yes! Yes, go home, go home! I'm coming home! You know why? McNeil put on the shades. He put the shades on. It's a sunny day. Put the shades on. Two nothing. Whoop. Love it. Love it. All right, here is Pete. This is for B-Man. This, this is for B-Man. Ready? Here we go. No, oh, god damn! <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, there goes that. Yeah, I can't remember the was UFC two Ronda and Connor. I think it was. Uh, yeah. So Connor, damn, you listen to the radio? That's pretty cool, man. That gives me a nostalgic throwback. You heard it on the radio. That's cool. So Connor got accused of rape. Okay. Uh, apparently dragged some girl in the bathroom against her will. Security guard helped her or whatever. The UFC released a statement. They said they're not going to basically say anything until they find out all the details. Um, so there's not much information out there. Listen, like I said, it doesn't make any sense. It does, None of it makes any sense. Right. Um, I understand Connor could do naughty things, but in that way, it just doesn't. It just doesn't add up. There's so many easier ways to be a, a naughty boy. So I am not buying it, but the UFC has panicked and released some breaking news to cover up the situation. I don't know. So we'll see what happens. That's my Cliff Notes version of my opener. If you want to see me rant and rave for a good 30 minutes, run it back. The mascot jumped in, they said. The guy that they said he was saying he was in the hospital, but he was he was actually helping Connor rape the girl in the outfit. In the Miami Heat's outfit. Now got it. Center fielder. 
Do you guys want me to do any more street beef interviews? What do you think about that stuff? Like, I was trying to put my finger... Like, I was kind of interested in the kid. He didn't have... He didn't have much of a personality. But this kid had a... You can tell this kid's been through a lot. Like, broken family, constantly fighting in the street before street beefs. Had a lot of shit go on. So it was interesting to me as a champion over there in street beefs, if that even means anything. I was interested. I thought it was cool. And that guy from that guy from uh, Power Slap seems really cool. I might just drag him on. He's 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 very um, supportive on Instagram. He's always liking our stuff, and he's a really cool dude. He thought that Jusuda Vicious making fun of her. Let's go. He thought making fun of her voice was hilarious. So it's my kind of guy. Double. Connor raped. No, the mascot helped him rape. The girl. Satisfying. Kind of died out there. Can we bring this home? I'm coming home. Oh, boy. Why did I swing at that? Manimal. I had an interaction with him recently. Dude, I re-listened to Ray Longo and the Manimal. That was actually pretty good. I was I was a little cringy though. I was listening to myself back. I'm like, ah, I would have handled oh god damn it. I would have handled it a little differently if done again. But Manimal was cool. Damn, that was terrible. Where Longo is reprimanding him for talking over him. Dude, what am I swinging at? Never stop. Yeah, so the new donation song is going to be... Um, <clears throat> it's going to have to deal... I think Juliana Pena is going to take... Come on, Rondo away. This, yeah, you may never hear... Come on, Rondo. You'll never hear Come on, Rondo again. That's getting retired. Wonderful, wonderful. Come on, Rondo. is hitting the showers. People believe in weather manipulation. Witness protection, that Instagram secretly allowed pedophilia, that Epstein is still alive, UFOs, election was rigged, but refuse to believe that a coked out weasel can rape a woman, man shrugging. <laughs> no, here's the thing. If you're going to, I don't think, it doesn't make sense. Like, I believe he would cheat on his wife. You know what I'm saying? But there's so many ways to do it. You're going to drag some random girl into a bathroom during a heat game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see that. I don't see that happening. I don't. You know, it just doesn't seem likely. You know, I could see him hiring. You know, you can get a hooker. You can fucking go to a party, meet a girl, do whatever. I don't know. Thank you, Kainoto. I think that's like $12 that we're going to dangle in front of uh, Logan's vagina opening. Try to get him out. Why are you saying because he's on coke? No, I'm saying what's likely. You know, what's likely the scenario. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! He dusted it off! Oh, wait. Where's Rhonda? <laughs> I don't know where she is. But let's sing anyway. I'm gonna miss you. One, two, three, four. Come on, Rhonda! Come on, Rhonda! Oh, where are you, Rhonda? Where are you? Thank you, B-Man. B-Man, you're the man. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. I'm gonna, I am going to miss that donation. It, the, the funniest part about that donation was my when my mom heard a song on the radio, Come On Eileen, and she's like, it sounded a lot like Come On Rhonda. And I was like, well, it is. It's, a, it's the same song, just a different key. And it's Come On Rhonda. But yeah, Come On Rhonda is going to be gone. Oh, I'm going to miss that song. Oh, man. I'm going to miss that. Come On Rhonda. Thank you, B-Man. B-Man matched all the donations coming in. Let's go, man. Thank you. Very kind of you, B-Man. That was 12 bucks well spent. Even though the thing was broken for the time, I appreciate the nostalgia. I do. 
Baby Hulk had a fight coming up, but um, it, it got canceled for some reason. I guess his opponent pulled out. So they're looking for another opponent. I got to make sure that the new come donation is as good. I do have to. So, yeah, I'm going to get back to the uh, music making. It's been a minute since I made a donation song. So I'm feeling frisky. So once Logan gets here, I will get back to the drawing board. I dusted off the guitar again. I was playing Name by the Goo Goo Dolls. You know, a real headbanger. And you get ready for this. Jesse's never heard the song before. Has anyone else in the chat never heard Name by the Goo Goo Dolls? What? I couldn't believe it. And their sister hasn't heard it either. And like, I'm like, maybe I'm just massively old. But that song is like, it's played everywhere. Like, it's like on, it's all over the place. I've seen Google that was like three times live. And it wasn't even by choice. It was just like, oh, well, one time was by choice. But the other ones, they just so happened to be playing with other bands. Yeah, I saw him in concert. I saw him, dude, I saw him at Nassau Coliseum. Like the bassist had like no, he never wore shoes. Um, They had some pretty good songs though, not going to lie. Seeing Google Dolls and Matchbox 20 in concert, it was actually good. Yeah, listen, I'm not a Matchbox 20 fan, but I have to admit they have some good songs. They do. They do. I went to a Matchbox concert as well. I was dragged to one of those. And all the girls were just throwing their panties at... What's his name? Rousey and Nunez just got upside down pineapple tattoos together. Is that the song from the Nick Cage movie? Which one? Yeah, I was playing the song. And I was like, I was playing it and Ellie was like, you know, she's going la la to it, right? It was, it was pretty cute. And I was like, Jesse's like, I never heard the song. I'm like, what? So I played it on Alexa and she still never heard it before. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, Rob Thomas. What does Rob Thomas look like now? I always like to look at heartthrobs, like full apart. I'm like, yes. Finally. Like all the girls are throwing themselves. Didn't he get like have a, like a fat stage? Man, the girls love this guy. And it was weird because he, he looked like an incel. Like, such a weird looking dude. Never understood why girls were attracted to this guy. Girls love this dude. Like, this is what he walked around like. Like, that's what he walked around like. Is this him now? He looks, he looks fine. He looks just like he did. This is an older version. And I'm not good. Da -da 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 -da. And a little bit down, down. This guy, all the girls love this guy. Weird dude. It was a weird phenomenon. Girls loved, I guess you know what it was too. He sang like, he sang songs that chicks would love. And he was decent looking. I seen them play that song at uh, Riverbend in Chattanooga. They had one song that I really liked though. I can't remember what it was. It was a little more upbeat. It was pretty good. I had I had it on the other day. I was like, yeah, uh, this song's not bad for Matchbox. Yeah, dude, they had a lot of hits. Matchbox 20 had a lot of hits. Goo Goo Dolls too, man. Goo Goo Dolls are killing it. He looks like a trans. <laughs> he looks like a trans one, man. One. <laughs> Project Bluebeam, the Illuminati, Pizza Gate, Flat Earth, the Sausages Heterosexuality, Bigfoot, Magic Bullet Theory are things people will believe but Connor raping a woman. Nah. <laughs> nope, never happened. Never happened. I don't believe it. Oh, oh, oh. Yo! Merry Christmas. It's Christmas! My name is Troll, and I'm a special hole. I'm shirtless and alone again. Internet is my only friend. It's Christmas, hooray! I sit and watch him a No girlfriend this year, but I have my hand. Sit in front of computer, making fun of people. No avatar to hide my gremlin face. 
beautiful song. Oh, yes, it's Christmas. I am so hideous. Maybe Santa will bring me a pocket pussy. You guys are on fire! I was going to donate the Rhonda song, but it's broken. <laughs> Instead, I'll take Christmas in June. <laughs> Logan is already taking after his father. Late for showtime. <laughs> if he knew what was going on in the world, he'd just stay in there and never come out. Tell me about it. Thank you so much. I think the Rhonda donation should work. I don't know why it didn't work that time. It kind of bums me out, but Tropic, thank you so much, man. That was very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. You guys are awesome, man. Yeah, that probably is why he's hanging in there. Probably why. He, he knows what's going on. He hears what's going on out here. If you're just jumping into the stream, we've pivoted, pivoted to talking about Rob Thomas. <laughs> 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. I must be lonely. Uh, Back to when they had music on MTV. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. It's crazy to think about. <laughs> kind of was fatter than Lizzo. Mr. Pibb. Yeah. We always get into these weird uh, conversations. We get into these like weird like musical conversations. Now we're like talking about Goo Goo Dolls and, and Matchbox 20. It's the beauty of not the MMA holes. We just, we just go all over the place. Coked out Connor. Rapist Connor. Gifting memberships. It's just, it's just the, it's the stream that just, it just keeps on giving. Let's go. Uh, I have a decent singing voice. I don't know, man. I don't know about that. I don't know. I'm okay out of a lot of, a lot of things. Okay. That's about it. I'm like great at nothing. It's a bummer. But thank you. Anyone in the chat have a good singing voice? Like like a legit good singing voice? I was always jealous. You know what I was jealous of? Like people that could play the guitar and sing. You know? Like, I could sing a couple of songs on guitar, but the the rhythm of the strumming has to go with the changing of the the lyrics. If it's if it's too removed, I can't I can't match them up together like a spaz. It's like walking and chewing gum at the same time. Always jealous of that. Hundred percent chill. A nice singer, thank you. Actually, Jesse has a good voice. Jesse has a pretty good voice. But um, she won't sing. Like, she just won't. And then when she does sing, it's like she's goofing around. Like, I can't get, like, I can tell there's tone there. But she just won't. There it is, man. Funk Monkey 420 receives the gift. The beautiful gift. Carnegie Hall. You only sing sad songs. Tropic, you have a good singing voice, but I'm not talking about like, I'm not talking about no like Sinatra or anything like that. Cause like, you know, when people say I got a good singing and they start singing like Sinatra shit, that doesn't count. That's talking. That's talk singing, talk singing or a rapper. So whatever, if anyone thinks that that's good saying it's not. <laughs> uh, forget about voice. Uh, just hitting notes and singing at the same time is hard as fuck. Yeah, it is. Rubbing your belly and tapping your head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, singing is is definitely it's it's a beautiful gift to have, right? If 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 you're blessed with Ah oh. Yeah, I wish I wish I was just blessed with like natural I was also I also wish I was blessed with the ability to remember guitar chords. Like I could learn a song. I could learn pretty much any song. I forget it the next day. I don't know why that is. I'll learn it one day. I'll pick up the guitar the next day, and I have to like relearn it. Oh fuck! That drives me nuts. <clears throat> oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Pescadios. There we go. We should have an MMA Holes meetup in a Matchbox 20 concert. That'd be something else. <laughs> the gayest meetup of all time. Uh, foul. Ah! Oh! My second grade music. 
I uh, said I had a voice of an angel, but she uh, looked Francis and Ghana wearing. She looked like Francis and Ghana wearing a wig. Hot. Slash has a pacemaker. I believe it. Elton John style. Okay. All right. Elton John. Yeah, there's what's good is like Oh fucking hell. Like there's there's certain music, like if you remotely could sing decent, there's there's a, a genre of music you could slide into. There's there's always a way, right? That you can you can pick it like that's why a lot of people say I got into country music. Like failed pop singers get into country. Oh, I'm safe. Ah, oh, come on. Challenge that. There's like always a lane that you can kind of slide into, right? If you have just a semi-decent voice or just like, like if you have the ability to separate, like if you could listen to a song and say, that's the bass, that's the guitar, that's the lead, that's the, the rhythm, that's the fucking drums. You know, if you don't know what the drums is, then you're, you have a problem. But if you could kind of like, I always tell people first, the first thing I always ask if they like, if I want to know if they have any sort of musical anything is, can you listen to a song and separate all the instruments? You know, if they could do that, that's a good stepping stone. Either they can play a, a, an instrument or they can sing them. They can hit a melody, you know, hit, hit a, a note or whatever. You know, anyone in the chat could do that, but it's just terrible at, at music altogether. I feel like if you can at least do that, you have a ch you have a shot. You have a fighting chance. I always wish, though, like I could be a lead guitarist. I'm a terrible. I can't solo for this sh for shit. I could play rhythm. I could just fucking strum chords. I always wish I could fucking play, like just like touch that guitar and make it scream like Hendrix. I I've realized I could never do that. I just don't have it in me. You invented music? Country music vocals is fairly low bar. Yeah. Country is literally the... Uh, and it's not even like a shot of country music. It's just... It's known for being terrible singers. Like, like you know... You don't have to be a good singer. You just have to be able to keep your timing. And hit a couple of notes. You just, you just can't be a spaz. I wish I would have stuck with guitar. Dude, you're never too it's never too late. It's never too late, man. Like, just fucking pick it back up. Get a shit guitar. Go to like, I don't know, guitar center or something like that. Say, hey, what 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 could we do for the cheapest possible way to fix this thing up? You know? And just hop on YouTube, man. I sang on the MMA holes once. <laughs> That's true, yeah. That's true. Oh, dude, I wish I could play piano. I can't. It's just such a not forgiving instrument. Like, you hit the wrong note, everyone knows. You know? I could never do it. I wish I could play piano. You're too retarded. Dude, anyone could... Like, a guitar is probably one of the easiest instruments to play. The shittiest part of guitar is literally conditioning your fingers to not hurt after playing, pushing down the strings. It's the shittiest part. Then get an electric. It's a lot easier. Oh, you got retard. So the fingers don't, they don't cooperate. Yeah. If you're uncoordinated, if you have any sort of uncoordination, then don't even bother. Yeah. Don't, it's not even worth, it's not even worth your time. Then I, I'll, I'll definitely, I feel like anyone like that has some sort of coordination can, can do it. But some people don't like some people are just like, can't even tap their foot to a beat and to keep tempo, you know? I was forced to take choir in high school. Te high school teacher told me I had to lip sync and I get an A. <laughs> Johnny Hendrix, of course, Johnny Hendrix. My bad. You're playing as you like. Yeah, Trent could play, right? Trent, did you? Were you the one that sent us some stuff, or I can't fucking remember? If you have stuff, well, I'll listen to it. If you have anything on your YouTube channel, we'll listen to it after this game. I want to hear some music. I bet Trent's probably pretty good. 
Don't feel bad, pal. I had an art teacher. Like, it was funny. Today, we were doodling on... Um, Ellie has a big pad, puts it on the floor, and she's like, come play, play. So we're all sitting on the ground doodling. And I could doodle, like, Spider-Man and doodle, like, goofy versions of Venom, right? And and uh, Jesse's sister was nice enough to say, oh, you should be a cartoonist. And I was like, ah, yeah, you know, I didn't tell her this story. <laughs> when I was in college, I used to just be, like, the clown. In, like, who's the clown in college? You do that in high school, but I was the clown in college. I was a college clown. And like we would have nude models and I would draw the bi the biggest dick I could put on this model and I would draw pictures of the teacher and pass it around class in college. Like you're, you're an adult. Like what are you doing? I would do that shit. And one of my professors kept me after class and said, listen, you're a talented guy. What do you want to do with yourself? And at the time I wanted to do something in art. Like I just wanted, I wanted to be an artist in some sort of way, right? I wanted to be a musician. I wanted to be in a band, a rock star, an artist, whatever. And he looked at me. He's like, I can tell you right now. You're majoring in art and advertisement. A lot of people are very talented, more talented than you. And and even if you're just as talented as those people, it doesn't matter because you're never going to make it. <laughs> just flat out told me you're never going to do it. You're never going to accomplish anything. You have to find another way, another path in life. Like just blatantly just, just put it all out on the table. And I looked at it. It was the best advice I ever had from a teacher. I was like, you know what? You're right. I'm wasting my time. And that's when I became a delivery driver. There we go. Like he gave it to me hard and strong. No lube. He just shot it. He just shot facts at me. And I was like, you're right. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You know? So I, I, I left. I didn't chase any dream or, you know, I, I, you know, I did chase other dreams. But, um, Yeah. Dude, that guy's that guy's the fucking savage, man. I wish I could go back and thank him. He, I would have wasted so much time thinking that I'm going to be this fucking whatever artist. He shot his load all over me. Yeah, but that's a good teacher right there. A lot of people would be like, that's fucked up. But I look like at the time I was devastated. At the time I was like, wow, okay. Yeah, maybe he's right. You know, he gave me a hard reality check. Hard. Vainy reality check. Best best advice. Oh, no. Get it, get it. Oh, my God. He just hit a triple. Dude, what the hell? So don't feel bad. Jesse's very close. Yeah, she's like, we almost went in today. Like, she's, she's very close. So who knows? Who knows? When Logan's ready, he's ready. I gotta be careful, man. I got the time run at the plate. I can't blow this now. How many pitches did I throw? 59. Okay. Strike this guy out. Uh oh. Uh oh, no! Oh my god. I'm like, yeah, let's strike this guy out. Great. 2 1. Taco Johns. Nine out of ten of rock stars quit right before they make it big. I don't, is that true? I don't know. I, I tell you, man. <laughs> I haven't chased the stupid rock star. It was the dumbest. It's the dumbest, like, delusional thing I ever did. But it was fun, man. That was fun. You know. I don't know. Like, I look at, like, you don't want to live with regrets. No regrets, you know? No regrets. I look at it this way. Even if you fail, you don't want to go. You you don't want to leave this earth saying, "I oh, well, oh shit, here we go." What the fuck? I try. I hit second. Why did it, I hit second? Dude, what the hell, man? Anyway, like I was saying. You don't want to leave this earth without with saying, with, like living with regrets, man. Saying, man, I wish I would have done this. You don't want to do that. So try whatever. Give it a shot. Even if you think it's too late, give it a shot. When a teacher does that, it's a shit or gift the pot moment. Hey, guy, uh, checked your, uh, hold on. Checked you and opted uh, to be a box kicker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it was the best. It was the best thing a guy that guy could have said to me. Like it was, he was right. He wasn't wrong. 
you know, in this day and age, you'd say, oh, that guy was an asshole, you know, but no, he wasn't. He was right. Come on, man. What up with this? What up with this stuff? Here we go. Ready? Smoke it by you. Oh, I walked him. Do you understand music theory? I can't. Uh, I can't get in. I can't get it to make sense to be able to make up stuff on a guitar. No, I make up shit. So I learned the wrong way. I, I learned basically listen to cassette tapes. Like, like a song would come out. I'm that old. I would get the cassette. I would. I would record it off the freaking radio, and I would just strum it on my guitar. I would just like listen and try to you know mimic that sound. And then as I got older. Um, I tried to pick the brains of friends that play guitar, and I learned chords, you know? And now with YouTube, fucking hell. YouTube's great, but yeah, make it up shit. I can make some shit up. I can definitely make some shit up, but it's just, you know, just varying chords and different strumming patterns. You know, simple shit. Nothing, nothing mind-blowing. <laughs> Call from Sling Blade. I don't even know. I think that's like a reference. My dad isn't Sling Blade like an old movie. <laughs> Let me play Fortnite with Jess. Yeah, I don't know why, man. Both both of the girls are are downstairs. Um, but I guess they're just you know they're just having some family time. Oh shit. Yeah, I did it wrong. I did music wrong. I wouldn't write, like, I hope my kid learns the right way. Doesn't do the old, hey, let's listen to it and hopefully we're playing it right. That sounds right. I mean, it's, it's, you know, if you just want to be an average or below average guitar player, you can, you can get by. You can pick up chicks with it. Oh, shh. Man, Alonzo. That was the one I got ahead of it. Oh, crap, man. Oh. I learned enough to try to pick up girls with it. Damn, man. What am I swinging at? It's a ball. <laughs> Trumpets. Yeah, it sounds like Little Seal knows what he's talking about. Yeah. That's good advice. 20 minutes a day, every day, better than four hours a day, twice a week. You are right. That's, a, that's really good advice. My problem is my fucking my fingers, man. Dude, like, I, I, yeah, I'll play, yeah, I'll play for like a good hour and a half to two hours. Then my fingers are killing me the next day. Because I don't touch the damn thing. I tell you what, though, I picked up the electric the other day, plugged it into my spark, and uh, that's fun. You can get lost in that shit. French fry. I gotta eat some dinner. Maybe, maybe just remember that I did not have dinner. Okay, I'm gonna get a little little din din after this, and then we'll listen to Trent's guitar playing if he drops it in the chat. I'm just swinging at everything. <clears throat> All right, give me something good to hit. Give me something good here. <laughs> Damn, man. All right, come on. Even when I'm like, yeah, it's going to be a ball, I get fooled. I'm not even high. He took that for a ride. I usually pick a Metallica song and I learn the riffs. I usually try to learn one song a day if I can. Oh, okay. Yeah, Metallica is, is fun. That is fun. You good at finger picking? Do you like to do that? A little finger picking? I'm a strummer, man. I love strumming. I'll finger pick here and there, but I love strum. I, like, I love a good strum. I don't know. I get lost in the rhythm. I love, I have a weird strumming pattern too. A re weird stroking pattern. But I love it. I, there's something about like hitting a chord and just strumming all different ways and 
I don't know, making like one chord sound completely different by strumming it in, you know. <clears throat> yeah, I hope Ellie gets into music. She's like, she goes guitar, guitar. She like every time she play, passes the closet. So that's fun. Start a band with the kids. We'll hit the road. We'll tour together. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to start thinking about warming up the pen. I think my guy's getting tardy. 75 pitches. Shit. We might have to. We might have to warm up the pen. Let's put Drew Smith in. Warm him up. Get up, buddy. Loosen it up. I gotta be very careful here. Gotta be very careful. Let's see. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move him away, and then I'm gonna jam him up. All right, we're gonna go right in right here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dude, run, bro. Bro, bro. We got him out in second. Dude, what are you waiting for? Why are you throwing to third? What the fuck? Dude, that's the second. Dude, are... what the hell? I hit triangle. Yo, is this game possessed? What the? Yo, I can't even believe that just happened. Dude, I feel like I'm I'm in this weird bizarro world right now. I'm about to load the bases. Dude, what the hell? Strike two, strike two. Oh my god, what the hell? I'm in a I'm in a I'm in a little bit of a pickle here, guys. There we go. It's one. Okay. We're back, we're back. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> I, think I did. I did do. I had a guitar in my trunk, but I had a goofy song that I always play. Ah, I was that guy. We, I would go to a keg party, and the guitar was in the trunk, and I would hope that someone would ask me to play it. <laughs> I was that guy. Yeah, I had long hair and shit. I was literally that that fucking guy. We used to hang out in like a street corner. It was always loaded in the guitar. It was in the uh, in the um, the trunk. Anyone else be that guy? I was that guy. But I played a lot more then. Like, I barely play now. Okay. Have you hit a Grand Slam yet? No. Did you know in England the dollar store is called Pound Town? <laughs> That's hilarious. So, okay, here we go. Double play. Double play. Double play. Right. Uh oh. Got away from me. I might have to just try to strike this guy out. I could go for a Grand Slam. Denny, Denny's Grand Slam? Yes. Yes, please. Oh, struck him out. Are you going to leave these guys stranded? No way. Are you going to leave these guys stranded? Woo. Don't let me down. I had my guitar stolen out, stolen out of my car, too. I have had that happen. Uh-oh. Alright, I'll take it. I could have just stepped on third. But I got out of it, guys. A Yamaha. It's a shitty... It's like, um... Both my guitars are Yamahas. I, like... I always wanted, like, a really cool guitar. Like, I really... Like, I told Jesse. Like, if... If I had, like... F you money where I could just randomly spend it on nonsense. I would get like a, a really sweet sounding acoustic guitar, fat body with shit of shit on me. <laughs> Dude, that scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Dude, you literally almost made me get a heart attack. Did anyone else jump from that? It was like a jump scare. He's got a penis <laughs> down there, and I like what I see. Pee pee. He's got a penis down there, and I like what I see. Pee -pee. I almost had a stroke. 
I almost had a stroke there. I'm not even high. Yeah, what the hell, man? Scare the fuck you out of me. You most definitely found your calling, Big M O S. Thank you. You're a natural artist, so expressive, so passionate, <laughs> an incredibly amazing singer with an angelic wow, voice. Wow, that's so nice. It is wonderful, wonderful to experience your beautiful voice <laughs> in my ear holes, Big Mystical. <laughs> Bro, not only did you scare the shit out of me, but I was very kind and emotional. I was, you know, I was talking to Jesse. D-Man, I was actually talking to Jesse last night after the stream. I was like, yo, D-Man's a G-Man. He's a G-Man, D-Man. Like, D-Man's a cool dude. Been very supportive as well. Thank you, D-Man. Dude literally scared the fuck out of me. I gotta watch that back. Did anyone else jump? Like, I don't, like, when I'm gaming, I get, like, lost in the fucking game. And I'm rambling. That scared the shit out of me. Like, I legit, like, I had heart palpitations. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get hit the replay. What does it look like when I'm scared? He's got a penis down there. <laughs> Fucking hell, that scared the hell out of me. If, if I had, like, F... That's loud. I was, like, in, a, in this moment. Talk about F you money in a guitar. F you money where I could just randomly spend it on nonsense. I would get like a, a really sweet sounding <laughs> acoustic guitar, fat body with. He's got just get a shit on this. <laughs> Dude, I, I just grabbed my heart. I literally grabbed it's my a heart. Guitar, fat body with. <laughs> He's got Just get a shit on <laughs> I grabbed my heart like my pacemaker. Dude, that's how I'm gonna go down. Someone's gonna drop a donation while I'm fucking in a gaming stream or some shit. I'm just gonna collapse. That's what I'll be known for. It wouldn't even be a cool death. It won't be like on a fight buddies where we got thousands of people watching. It's gonna be a gaming stream intimate. <laughs> I just drop. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Thank you. Well, thank you for almost killing me. Killing me on live TV. Hello, guitar enthusiasts. I want to hear some of your music, chat. Wilder and Engano get a box. That'd be nice. Good pick on Charles and Nunez. We got some cheddar. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Yeah, the Charles one was, was easy money. We did it. Baby, we did. Well, Aunt Amanda was easy money, really. Thank you. I think I'm the only one that jumped during that. I don't even know what happened here. I just. Oh! Dropped in. Let's go. My, my near death experience resulted in a run. He's gonna be. It was that initial key on the piano. Bang, bang. I was like, what the fuck? Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Down the line, down the line. I went foul. Yes. Super chat. Facts MOS, you're an amazing singer. Sorry for scare. Uh, no, don't worry. Don't apologize. It's just old age. Thank you, man. I don't know about amazing singer, dude. Bro, I don't know where you... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about there, man. But thank you. Thank you, my man. You, you the man, dog. You're the man, dog. I just called you dog. I almost died. I literally almost died. Do you want to play a game? Oh, okay. Does Monica want to make an appearance? No. They scared, they scared me with a donation. Oh, okay. This is a jump scare. What is this? Oh, you heat it up? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. My pregnant wife gave me dinner that I will eat. Oh, my God. Where am I swinging at? All right. I need insurance. I need insurance run and life insurance. I need both. Oh, my God. Just get, get out of here. Just sit down. Swinging at that nonsense. Do you think mock rock music will ever make a mainstream comeback? We need more new artists. So, Clint, that's a great question. No. 
I think that rock is dead. I was thinking about this. I'm like, why when I put on a rock station, it's quote unquote the oldies, right? Because if you think about when these songs came out, they're oldies now. And if you put on modern rock music, a rock station, it's all the old songs. So I don't know what's going on. I'm sure there are bands making no new music, but no one gives a shit about them. I guess they're on YouTube, they're on Spotify. But um, dude, like, like, I don't know. I couldn't name any band that's out now that's like killing it, like rock band. I couldn't name one. You know. So I don't. I think it's 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 kind of sad, man. Like I want new music. I want to hear some fucking new songs, new rock music. I want to I want to hear some new shit. Um, but yeah, I was always afraid when I was DJing. I was always afraid that the guitar is gonna be a thing of the past. Like people just be like, who needs a guitar? You could just press a couple of buttons on the computer and just synthesize that. AI. The p oh, Jesus. Now I hold up. I hold up at that, right? Dude, two pitches in the box. Oh, here comes the double play. Like clockwork. All right, I'm going I'm to bring the new pitcher in. You did good, kid. You did good. You did good. But we're gonna, you're going to take a seat, kid. Okay? Take a seat. We're going to bring in Drew Smith. Ready, put him in. Let's lock this game up. Damn, man. Okay, let's see what we got here. He's got a penis down there and I like what... All right, whoever plays music, if you have any on your YouTube channel, I'm going to do a music review segment as I eat my dinner so you're not just staring at me chomping on food. The music review segment. Incoming. So if you have if you have a YouTube channel, or we're gonna do channel reviews, we could do that too. If you want us to check out your channel, we'll do channel reviews. Because we're on the second channel and so <laughs> you make him lose the fight terribly inside of the cage. You make him spread his ass cheeks. Now you enter his backstage. And you fill it with your rage. Come on. Style bender, one fight. Is he is in Psychosta? Is he is in Psychosta? I gotta stop doing that to myself here. Thank Another you. great example here. Your voice is simply compelling, brother. P A P A. P A R A R A P A P A. P A P A. P A R A R A P A. You make him lose the fight terribly. You make him TA, 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 and then you enter his backstage. Come on. You know, Style bender. They're all good points. I can't disagree. I can't. No, ladies, he did not make dinner tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very kind of you. Killing it. Killing me. Oh my god. I'm jumping like a little girl watching a scary movie. I don't know. I think I'm just on edge. Like I just want this kid to come out, you know, healthy, strong, safe. So I'm trying to like distract myself. I'm all like weirdly paranoid and shit. Alright, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's win this game. Bottom of the seventh. We're bringing in some help. Good pitch, good pitch. Best mu music is D-Rest. You're a fan of D-Rest? D-Rest is like, his music comes in from another planet, man. So, I'll give him, I'll give him credit for being very unique, man. Whoa, shit. Very, very unique. And that's, that's good, man. You want to be unique, right? You don't want to be like everyone else. Killing you softly. With this song. All right, channel reviews incoming. Uranus. Oh! 
<laughs> Torkelson, sit down, bitch. Sit down, bitch. Torkelson, what kind of name is that? So what would you guys think? I got to go back and listen to Pulse on Bro Bro Planet. I, uh, Planet. I saw the pictures, the memes. How is he? Did he do well? Is he is he their third member? Reloaded. Oh, maybe. You know what? Should we react to that? I got to check that out. Bro Bro Plata reaction. Oh, shit. What is that? You're not supposed to do that. Yeah, wait, MJ could play guitar, right? Actually, you're pretty good at guitar. If I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. Uh, Mason Jackson. It's from 10 years ago. <laughs> Shit's from 10 years ago? Nah. Come on, man. 10 years ago? The hell? What's with the drought? Whatever shit takes, got some music? Got some guitar skills? Wow. It's a long time, man. Upload some shit. Don't let your talent die, man. Put it on the interwebs. Share it. You coming on? Oh, what are you doing? Brushing your teeth? Why don't you say hi to the people? This might be the last time they say hi to you before the big event. Oh, yeah, bitch! Sit down! Get out! <laughs> Sit down! Inside of the cage. There might not be a Fuqua Friday tomorrow. What? I said there might not be. I'm not saying... I'm saying I'm jinxing it. I said there might not be. That's all I'm saying. Just saying. Uh, but we scheduled fight buddies. Just in case. Skin flute? That's a great instrument. Whoa! Whoopsies. Alright, ready for the strikeout? Here it comes. Incoming. This is the longest baseball game. I stopped this game so many times. It's the never-ending baseball game. But it's like, oh, shit. No. Oh, God, no. Mow him down. Mow him down. Mow him down. Mow him down. Slowpoke. Oh, shit. He's going home. Dude, what the fuck? Yes. Yes. Bro, what was that guy doing? And why was my guy chasing him down the line? Did you see that? Like, bro, get rid of the ball. They try. Ever hear this guy? Who is that? Dude, what just happened? I feel like I'm high, man. I don't know what is weird as shit. Who is this guy? E Rock. Whoa, that's loud. What the fuck? Who is this guy? Never heard of this guy. E Rock. Metal's most epic intros. Uh, what the fuck? This guy would be a good guitar player. You look like this, you gotta be a good guitar player. You gotta be. Oh my god, this poor guy. But he's got a million subscribers, so he's doing something right. Oh my goodness, dude. What happened? This guy's just stuck. Good night. Love you too. Okay. Uh, all right. We're gonna we're gonna do a channel review of that guy. Where'd you find this dude? Man, it's crazy. This guy's got a million subscribers. Never even heard of him. Uh, winner of the Dimebag Daryl Shredder Award at the two two thousand thirteen Metal Hammer Golden Wow God Ceremony. What an award! Eric Calderon. This guy got no pussy in school, but at least you know what. That's the thing. That's a trade off. You get no puss, but you are fantastic at guitar. And maybe the guitar got him the puss. You know? That that probably gave him that that was the key to the puss. Oh. 
You're about to have another baby. You might just be high on life. Yeah, baby. Could be. Endorphins. He takes theme songs and makes them metal. Oof. That's so cringy, though, no? Like Is it like that shit? What is that? I mean, it's very talented. That, that shit's super... I'll, all right, I'll check it out. It's just so gay. <laughs> it's just incredibly gay. But it is very talented. I could never do it. Because I, I am not as... I'm not as skilled as that guy. It's talented and gay at the same time. But we'll check it out for sure. If you have any other channels for me to check out, I will do channel reviews. Where I look at channels and make fun of them. Because I'm jealous of their subscribers. Do you remember when uh, we worked together for the CIA? Yes. It was the good old days. THC gets uh, stored in fats. Does it? I, yeah, because we saw you play guitar, so I'm pretty sure we did look at your channel many moons ago. Just swing at everything, man. Just swing at it all. <laughs> number two. Who does number two work for? I'm going to keep the channels in the background that we're going to review in a sec. And it's going to get crazy, man. It's going to get crazy. The channel review portion of the program. Mystical's channel reviews. <clears throat> oh, of course. I don't know how I scored runs in this game. I have no idea. I'm just like up, down, up, down. Here we go. Okay. Let's do this, guys. Come on. We got two more chances. To get out of this game. Actually, you know what? Let's... How's my closer doing? How's he doing? He's doing good. Let's warm him up. We'll put the nail in the coffin. With Edwin Diaz. If we can... Here we go. Thank you. That's right. Sit down. Pulse reloaded. Yeah, well, he went on Bro Bro Platter. He went on Bro Bro Platter, so maybe if we if we don't have anything to review, maybe we'll go over there and check out Pulse. Oh shit! Oh shit! No 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 Stay stay stay. Fuck! Throw him out! Throw him out! Throw that cock out! All right. Oh fuck! Fuck! All right, um, I'm nervous. How are you looking, Edwin? You ready, bro? He's still warming up. Fuck. Dude, I hate this. I, I, I might as well put this dude on base. He went. He went. He went. All right, I'm going to pitch around him because I'm terrified. Hopefully, he, like, swings at something that... I don't want to swing at. That's, don't worry, don't worry. I'm doing this on purpose. I'm doing it on purpose. It's on purpose. It's okay. All right, take a seat. Take, take a, take a base. Take a base. It's okay. Pinch runner. All right. What do we got here? Boom, 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 boom. All right, I gotta put him in, man. All right, come on, let's go, let's go. We gotta, we gotta get this game. I can't let this thing slip away. I can't do it. I'm ready. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go, bitch. Swing at this. Swing at this. There you go. Now I'm gonna jam you up. I'm gonna try to double you up. It's getting fucking intense right now. It's getting mad intense. There you go. Strikeout. Fine, I'll take that too. Got my closer in, throwing heat. People walking around Japan. I'll tell. I'll react to anything because I need an excuse to eat my food. So I, uh, a way to eat my food where it's not completely nauseating. 
Ah, oh, come on. Come on, guys. We could get out of this. I'm going to really be pissed if I don't get out of this. One more out. One more out. Dude, that was a strike. <sighs> Fucking hell. Bloody hell. Right down the middle. Just check Bro Bro's page. Yeah, page. Uh, yeah, Pulse. The rumblings was Pulse was on the platter. Was he on today? Was Pulse on today too? Or was it just uh, the other stream? Oh, shit. Fuck. All right, it's all right. Base is loaded. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Everything's going to be fine. Because every little thing has got to be all right. Baby, don't worry about a thing. Strike two means everything's going to be all right. Baby, don't worry. Pachow. There it is, boys. We got out of it. One more inning. Sometimes you just got to sing a little Bob Marley to get it going. I looked off to the side and I got a little weirded out. I have this this channel up in the background and it just kind of freaked me out for a second. This guy's face just staring at me. It's like, yeah, I got out of the inning. I didn't look off to my left and this guy's just staring at me. It's creeping me out. Eric Calderon. Y'all remember when LeBron took credit for bringing the championships to Cleveland, yet Steve Miocic already did it six months earlier? Yeah. Time flies when your screen is 3D because on how bloody hell high I am. Connor sings that in the bathroom. Every little thing. Insurance, please. For the love of God, I'm sweating here, man. Insurance. Oh, fuck you. Patience. 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 <clears throat> Baby, don't worry. About a team. In his second season, he features a four seam fastball. Every little thing. Oh, son of a freaking golf swing. Is there, uh, is there closer in right now? Who's in? But ba -ba -ba baby I guess so. Three pitches. Brett Baby. Oh, my God. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Yeah! <laughs> Murmur, murmur, murmur. I'll take it. Every little thing. We're going to win this game, guys. Have faith. Have faith. I would like to get another run, but we have two outs. Man, I'm first. Oh. It was too inside for me to swing. <clears throat> it's going to be all right. Oh, phew. I didn't think that was going to be in there like that. Damn, man. That guy got in there quick. 98 mile per hour. Damn, that guy smoked it in there. Oh, he set me up, man. Dun, dun, dun. I would love to drill this over the wall. You want to throw a pitch fast? Oh, my. <laughs> what am I swinging at? All right, here we go. This is it. This is it. Gonna try to get two innings out of my closer. Throwing heat 102. It's nice to have this guy. I wish the Mets had him. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Here we go. In real life right now. But Okay, one more. One more out. Oh, two more outs, excuse me. Two more outs. Every little thing. Did I play Nickelback? Uh, when when Nickelback first came out, I rocked Nickelback, man. For sure. I definitely rocked. I rocked. Although I didn't, I never liked Photograph. I never liked that song. Look at this photograph. 
I didn't like that song. That was like brutal. That song. That song was terrible, man. Without, they say there's a hero to save us. That fucking Spider-Man song. But that wasn't full Nickelback, right? That was hybrid Nickelback. That was with someone else. One more. One more. One more. One more. They're on their feet. The crowd's on their feet. They want to get a rally here. They're not going to get it. They're not going to get it. I am not giving it to them. When Nickelback first came out, they weren't that bad. They had some actual fucking heavy bangers on their album. On their albums. Like, they actually had heavy ass music on there. Chicks ripping their tops off at the concerts. I'd never been to a Nickelback concert, unfortunately. And I don't know if I'll ever go to one, but. They're Canadian, aren't they? One more out, one more strike. They say there's a hero save us. Oh, come on, man. A Nintendo? Uh, yeah, he's going to get all those retro games and stuff. That would be cool. Although, like, Ellie today was playing, she was playing PlayStation 5. She can't really do anything with it. But um, she was playing that. Uh, here it is. This is it. This is bowl game. Take your time, bud. We did it. We closed it out. Patience. We did it. We fucking did it. Yeah, Ellie was playing um, the game that came with the PlayStation 5. Uh, you know what's going to be cute when the kids get a little older? And if they want to like hop on a gaming stream or something like that, that'd be fun. When when the when the okay when the green light is there, that's the only bomb of the game. All right, we're gonna review some some channels now. If you want your channel reviewed, Nickelback is the N word of in Canada. Yeah, what do you guys think in Canada of Nickelback? Listen, I understand the everyone shits on Nickelback. There are so many way worse bands than Nickelback. I can't jump on that train. They're, are they great? No, they're not. And I get the cringiness of them, but there is there is so many way worse things I could listen to than Nickelback. They're way way worse. Like if I was trapped in a room and people were torturing me and they put on Nickelback, I'm not gonna like want to kill myself. There are a lot worse things that have come from Canada, named Justin Bieber. <laughs> that came from Canada. That disgrace of a human being. You despise them. Uh, Mike Diddy, uh, so does that mean uh, they won't have championship? Ever hear Puddle of Mud? By the way, thank you for the nice... What game came with your PS5? This one here. Thank you for the nice... I think JJ said it. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy these. These streams are silly. They're silly. They're goofy. But they're fun. I have... I mean, listen. They're fun, man. Like I don't really play video games on my off time. So what you see is what you get. Like today I was playing a little bit of this game. I'll show you the game that Ellie, because Ellie doesn't know what to do with it. So I'll, I'll show her. But I don't really play video games in my regular life. So this is actually kind of cool. I get to play video games and have people to chat with. I hope it saves that. I hope it saves that. So the game is called... The game that came with the PlayStation... Um, what's it called? This playroom thing. It's stupid fun. Like, it's just, it's cute, adorable, and fun. This game. Maybe I'll play a little bit of this afterwards. Like, when I first played it, when I first played the PlayStation, I'm like, this is nonsense. Like, I don't want to play this. This is horrible. And then, um, I was playing it with Ellie, and I found the joy in it, and the frustration as well. It's a very frustrating son of a bitch. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, I was like all like against it. It's not bad. It isn't. It isn't a bad game. This game completely free comes with the PlayStation. If you've pushed it aside, I don't know, get high, get have a couple of beers. 
if you could get past the cuteness of the game, it's actually fun. Appreciate you just hanging with us and uh, talking. Uh, that's why these are my favorites. Thank you, man. That's that's that means a lot. Listen, like the fact that you guys stop by. I know it's really not really doing much here, but um, I feel like it does give some you know more kind of one on one time where I could hang with you guys a little bit more. Where the other streams get a little aidsy. You know what I've noticed with the other streams. I noticed that the chat is just like, they're just chill. You Like, they just don't want to do anything. Like, they don't want to interact or... Like, I feel like they're content with just us delivering content. Like, when we go over there. Or it's just like shitting on us. <laughs> like, just they just want to shit on us or something. I don't know what it is. But I was talking about this with Jesse the other day on the main channel. Like, I've noticed that we've been a little more distant. Like, I try to be as interactive as possible on the main channel. But I've noticed that it's just like, when I every time I dive into the chat... Like there's another conversation going on anyway, so it's like I don't I should I don't even have to dive into the chat anymore, so I might just do segments where I just start rattling off thoughts on crap, I don't know, and then leave the the conversation for this these streams. I don't know. It gets aidsy on the fight reaction, so I, I get that. That's almost impossible to talk to you guys, but we try. People, well, people are needy for attention when it comes to, you know, trying anything to get it, right? I upload a video of me playing guitar. I'm still in the beginning. Let's let's check it out, Clint. Let's let's go. All right, I'll check it out right now. That's cool, man. Okay, go to channel. Clint. Clint's channel. Go subscribe to Clint. Here we go. He just did it three minutes ago. All right, cool. Give me an excuse to eat. And listen to something. They say there's... It better be Hero by Nickelback. <laughs> That'd be something. Sports Guy 7. All right, let's put him in queue. Oh, that's him. Okay. He's ahead of me. Thank you. Let's go. All right, yeah, so that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll make this like a segment. Like where we just fucking check out other people's channels. All right, I'm going to eat something. Oh. I gotta cut this shit up. So we got, we've been getting like TV dinners until the baby comes. So that's what we're doing. I don't know which which one this is like Hello Fresh or Fresh something or my asshole's fresh. We got some green beans. Let me ask you in the chat. So oh, let me ask a couple of things. One, do you, does anyone order meals like? I want to get a com company to sponsor us where we can get some discounts on like, like pre-made meals sent to your house. They're, they are great. There are some companies that are so real. Like this company is pretty good where it's like, like good, healthy food that tastes decent. And, um, like, does anyone need, like get this type of stuff? Like if you're on the run all the time, if you're working a lot or you're just too lazy to cook. Like, this would have been great when I was solo. I would have been all over this. Is anyone into that into that stuff? And I have something else to ask you guys, too. That's, that's actually pretty cool. Hmm. All right, Clint. Nice dog. Uh, please don't what? Look at my ass. Golden Retriever. I used to sing in, uh, in that song, Don't Stop Believing. I used to sing Golden Retriever. Da -da 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 -da. I used to scream at the top of my lungs at a bar and try to get everyone in the bar to scream Golden Retriever. I used to try to rearrange the lyrics. Golden. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that shot. Oh, let's try it again, right? 
Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Job. Oh, do not need me. It's me dead. And I see red. Very nice, very nice. Very nice, good job. How long have you been playing, Clint? How long? Not bad, man, not bad. What is that, an Ibanez? What is that? Fender? What is that? What kind of guitar is that? Very nice. He put up his he put up his stuff. He put it up, baby. Now let's listen to this guy. This is where I get hit with a strike. Nine years ago, wow, just a baby. Nine years ago, tw twelve million views. Oh my goodness! So this guy's got to be ridiculously. Good. This guy's got to be stupid good. Three weeks ago, Cha Cha by Karaja meets metal. Let's see what do I want to hear. Mario Brothers. Peaches from the Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> there are a lot of these channels that um, like look at this. This is so wild. Oh, it's three. Wait, hold on. How does this even work? This is the latest. So this is thirteen days ago. He's got eight thousand views. Three weeks ago, forty six k. This is this is how you know YouTube is so broken. What the fuck? How does he have, dude, what? How does he have 1.6 million uh, followers, right? 1.6, 1.46 million subscribers. How are the views, like, if you think about this, right? Like, I'd be ha I'd be very happy with these views for our channel for 78K. I'd be, I'd be thrilled. I'd be ecstatic. But for one, for 1 million subscribers, that doesn't make any sense. This is two months ago, 9,000. I don't get it. I, I don't. This is how you know that like the shit is broken. Like, does anyone get alerts? There's no possible way one million people will subscribe to this shit and eight thousand views. Doesn't make any sense. It's so frustrating. Oh my god, what the fuck? I don't want to hear this one. Uh, cha cha. Star Wars meets metal. Let's go. Nah, I, I can't listen to this shit. Sounds like some fucking anime porn. He's good. Don't get me wrong. He's good, but fucking hell. Like, if this was a subscriber, like, yeah, good on you, bro. But this fucking dude, well, I would never listen to this. Sounds like something Israel Adesanya would jerk off to. Oh, my God. Fuck off. Dude, what is that? Dude, what is that? Dude, beating off to fucking cartoons and shit. This guy definitely... I I would... I would... I would bet the house that this guy is spanked to a fucking cartoon at one point in his life. All right, what else has he got here? But he's good. He's, he's, you can tell he's the guy knows what he's doing. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Bro, you want to see a fucking guy that's good? Dude, this guy... Okay. All right. Now, now we're going to go there. Hold on a second. Um, uh, let's see. Review. I'm trying to figure out how I can find this guy. I don't know his name. Uh, Metallica. All right. Review Metallica. It'll probably pop up. This dude is like stupid good. Room of Mirrors. 
Dude, I, I, I love Room of Mirrors off their last album still is just such a banger. Oh, Tearless. This guy's live right now. Who is this guy? He's got 500 people. You live. got freaking Saiyan Man, the Lizard, Doc Ock, Green Goblin, Toby, the other guy. This guy's got 500 people watching him. Four, four, so, so it doesn't make any sense. He's got 410,000 subscribers of 500 people watching him. I don't understand. Like you have guys with like under 100K with like thousands of people watching them. And then you got this guy, 410,000 subscribers and 500, which is so weird. Like what? What is this guy yelling about? Damn, but I need the money. I need the money. Wait, is he spoiling something? I, don't, I want to make sure he doesn't spoil shit. The Flash is trash. <laughs> I probably shouldn't listen to this because he's probably going to be a fucking spoiler. Where's the guy? Uh, review Metallica. I'm going to find this guy. Uh, it doesn't pop up in the search. I, I was watching this guy. He plays along. With all the Metallica songs, dude plays, he's not even like paying attention. This guy, is, he is such a whiny bitch. You ever see this dude? Dude, this guy is such a cunt. And then I, he plays his own music. It's not He's a good musician, this guy. But he talks like he's God's gift to music. Become the Knight. Has anyone ever seen this guy? He makes me want to vomit, this dude. Anyone see him? I don't care if Flash sucks. I'm watching for... Yeah, me too. 100%. I will, I will watch... And I heard Flash is fairly enjoyable, so. This guy's such a whiny bitch. You want to watch him? Metallica released the fourth single for their album, 72 Seasons, also called 72 Seasons. And we're about to take a listen to that. But before we get into it. I'm going to play it. I uh, forget it. Fuck off. Um. Oh, where's that guy? Well, he's not showing up on the search. I don't remember what the hell this guy's name was. He was playing along with. Oh, dude, this guy's insane. You ever see this fucking dude? Dude, this. Dude, this guy. This dude. I I I stumbled on this dude. Where's his channel? How do you get to his fucking channel? Jamie Slays. Gay name, but cool. Dude, what the fuck's up my mouse? Dude, what is up with my mouse? It, like, it won't, it won't go to his channel. <laughs> why is it? Why? It's like, it, it's like doing, it's doing everything it wants. Like, let me get to his. <laughs> What's up with my mouse? <laughs> What's up with my mouse? Jamie Slays. You ever see this dude? Dude, this guy is so like I didn't I don't know. I'm not fucking subscribed to him. I don't subscribe to these guys. I don't Today's video is sponsored by Dish. I get it. You're way better at guitar than me. I get it. I understand. I don't need to fucking cry and and listen to you just be way better than me. Like it, I don't know. I can't subscribe to this guy because you're just you're just so much better than me. I'm just gonna be miserable. <laughs> This guy, that's that's how I that's how I choose to subscribe. So he gets all this free shit. He's so good, man. Uh, let's see, custom guitars. He's getting, you know, this dude gets everything. But he's fucking so good. Shocking facts: the untold uh, guitar legacy. Uh, let's see, let's see. Playing children of bottom riffs. Anything you want to see on here? Let's see. All right, let's see what, what's his popular videos. I don't fucking know. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Riffs uh, that made you learn guitar. All right, let's see riffs that made you learn guitar. Let's see. I get so jealous of like people that are so effortlessly good at guitar. It makes me want to vomit. Look at this fucking. No problems. But Papa Roach. You know, fun fact: I'd never played this this song. I should I should play this one. This one's not that hard. All right. Let's see if there's any. 
Everyone, yeah. So yeah, these are all like basically songs. If you play guitar, if you're out of, you know, you should be able to pull this shit off. That doesn't really show off his skill. Any idiot could play it. Any a fucking monkey could play that. Uh, let's see. Come on, bro. A fucking monkey could play that. New metal, not into. It. All right, yeah, I like new metal. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Top, top ten new metal guitar riffs. My favorite guitar riffs. Okay. This guy takes so many cocks in his ass, but he's so good at guitar. Tonight we're gonna cover how many cocks I could fit in my anus. New metal riffs. I talk like a fucking closeted homosexual, but I play guitar so good. These are riffs I first learned to play on my guitar. I love to play. I am a gay robot. They are all in varied drop tunings, so don't worry too much if you don't have multiple guitars. You can probably still play them in the same tuning. The first song I'm going to cover is Down With The Sickness by Disturbed. Okay, play it. It's a great song. Let me just say this right now. New Metal gets shit on wrongly. New Metal's fantastic. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I know it's douche metal. I understand New Metal is douchebag metal. I get it. I used to watch music as win. But new metal, still. Let's. I can rock disturb, man. Ooh, ah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's pretty pretty easy new metal, right? <laughs> Fucking hell, bro. Lower your shit. This doesn't do him any good, though. This doesn't do him any justice, how good he is. Right, here we go. Sa seven Lamb of God rips, riffs. Okay, here we go. Little Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. It's really not showing like how good he is. Oh, my God, this poor guy. Look at all the cool guitars he has, though. Dude, look at the look at the background. I'm telling you, what is wrong with this fucking guy? Look at his background. He would be an amazing guitarist, right? He would be because he's got fucking Pikachu in the background. You can get away with that shit if you're a good guitarist. Where is it? Motherfucker has Pikachu. <laughs> it's a grown man, dude. You're a grown fucking man. You're a grown man, bro. You're like, what is that? What is that shit in the background? What is that? Bro, would you steal your fucking kid's toys? Like, what is going on? What the fuck is this thing? What in God's name is that on sitting on your speaker over there? How dare you play so good? How dare you, motherfucker? I want to fight this guy and lose. Sneaky little prize. Look at this. Look at this. What? Let's go. It's got a good sound to it. <laughs> Dude, Lamb of God. God kicks ass, man. He doesn't even have to try, man. Anyway. Anyway, he's good. Yo, Zen! Hello, Zen. Hello. There's a little something. Maybe not enough for a pack of diapers, but it'll get you some baby wipes, which you'll also need. <laughs> Celebrating my birthday with you, wonderful, wonderful. Hey, happy birthday, man. Listen, Zen, I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much. I appreciate you stopping by. He's been a hole for a long time, man. Long time, so I appreciate that. Happy birthday to Zen. Zen, if you have any channel reviews, we're here shitting on them. I understand why, <laughs> like, I'm not, I don't want to shit on the guy's channel. He's so fucking talented. I'm just, you know, 
Jealous. Uh, full video playing Slayer. No, not yet. Ninja Choke. Not yet. No. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wow, he's... He aged a lot, huh? Since the old days. Uh, shocking facts. Guitar. Legacy of Mick Thompson. Yeah, let's see what this is. I'm actually want to see what this is. Do I love Slipknot, man? Give me some shocking facts. If you have any channel, throw it in. Throw your suggestions in the chat. We're reviewing, baby. Mick but, Thompson's guitar collection. So let's just get straight in there. Let me please suck your dick, please. I started liking Slipknot in about 99, 2000 when they released their first album. And I was instantly hooked. But I really, really, really fell in love with them when I saw Left Behind on MTV. But we'll get on to that in a sec. So his history is he started out kind of playing Jackson Ibanez and BC Rich here or there. So there's pictures that I'm going to I'm bored. All right, let's see. Heavy metal happy hour. <laughs> Fucking hell. Every sinful song from the masters of metal. Right here where you need it. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, I'm probably gonna get flagged. See, this is I don't want to get flagged for this. If I'm gonna get flagged, I'm not going down for this. This is I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. I am not I will get flagged, but if I'm not going down for that guy, there is no way. <laughs> no way, man. Nick Merckx, 4 million subscribers. I am Silver 2S. Oh my God, dude. Does he have a speech impediment? What is, what is up with this fuck? Is he retarded? $10,000. <laughs> Five months ago, he tweeted out, go out to eat with me or $100,000. He's just bringing the price down until somebody wants to go out to eat with him. <laughs> I tell you what, I hate uploads. I fucking can't stand them. Those corny ass uploads. That's all he's got, right? Like, I hate the like the, the weird chopped uploads. The channels that fucking do that, man. I know they get so many views. It's so fucking corny. Let's watch Warzone. I think Call of Duty is in a tough spot, man. I think Warzone specifically, yeah. the only thing that they can do is just give it time. Because everybody in oh, the shit, We got the same headphones? No, he's got a variation of my headphones. Okay, tell me about Corey. Yeah, Corey. everybody on Twitter that I read, all the YouTube comments, everybody just constantly compares this current game to 2020. Ah, oh, that's good. Who watches this? Who how, who put someone banned the person that put this channel in my chat? <laughs> Call of Duty canceled him? What? Wait, why? What happened? Nick Merckx. Isn't that him? That's him. It's Nick Merckx canceled? What happened to him? It seems like... So wait, what happened? Skin removed? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I gotta cut up my chicken. Streamer Nick Merckx canceled over his comments against uh, school boards. What? What do you say? All right. No music, please. Fucking hell. I mean, I, I guess I could probably play this, right? I didn't like what I was seeing, man. I didn't like what I was seeing, man. Okay? It, it, I, I, saw, I saw parents bra brawling in front of a fucking school with kids sounds like an east coaster i just didn't i just didn't i just didn't fucking like it no why not you know i'm sure a lot of you guys can understand how that that video would piss some people off it pissed me off okay uh now i mean full full transparency you know i like how do i put this i gotta be very very careful here be careful i don't want to piss anybody off i'm making a lot of people mad wasn't my intention be careful, i mean but listen you we 
my wife and I just had a baby. Brand, brand new father. You know, we 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 seen these kinds of videos. It's 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 sad, you know. Um, but her and I agree that we we want to be the ones to talk to our kid about things like that. I'm trying to keep it really simple just so we don't have to get too crazy about it cuz there's nothing to get crazy about. It's just it, it really is that simple. This is trendy stuff. Have you seen Terpy MMA? I saw it briefly, yeah. I did see it briefly. He's interesting. <laughs> but he's very supportive. I think I just have a like a bigger perspective on this now being a parent than I than I did maybe 2 months ago. So you know, the video bothered me, right? What video was it? And that's, that's, uh, I just don't think it's any place for a teacher or a school. I don't think it's the place to speak about things like that. And it's not that I think that it shouldn't be spoken about. If that's what you got from that tweet, then you're just wrong. I don't have any quarrel with anybody in here. I don't have any quarrel with people on, on, on the internet. Um, it wasn't an anti, I guess, gay, gay, gay Uh-oh. Be careful. Wonderful, wonderful. Be careful. Oh, man. Don't want to mess Go figure. Up. He thinks you shouldn't be talking to pre-puberty kids about sex because that's what fucking child molesters do when they're trying to groom people. <laughs> Thank you, Chubbs. Dude, man. Yeah. You, dude, like, I saw in the Spider-Man video, uh, Spider-Man, the second movie, and thank you, Chubbs, for the donation. The second Spider-Man movie, uh, the cartoon... There was like a pro trans kid, I don't know, save trans kid, whatever the hell that is. I don't know what the hell it is. But there was a poster in there and it was like banned somewhere. Afghanistan or something. I don't know where the hell it was banned. It was banned somewhere. And people are freaking out about it. And when I saw the actual still frame of it, like it's like they crowbarred it in the movie. You could barely even notice it's there, but it's there. It's like, did you really have to put that in there? Like, why? Why do you have to put that in there? Like, I, I kind of understand why the country's like, yeah, we're not going to allow you to watch this. Because it's nonsense. It's like they're trying to, like, brainwash you in some fucking way. Like, some weird way. Why do we got have uh, trans kids' rights in a fucking cartoon? Tweet. That wasn't what it was. It's nonsense. And trans kids. What the fuck is a trans kid? What is that? What? There's no such thing as a trans kid. I did notice that Ezra Miller, The Flash... The, the guy that plays Flash, he refers to himself as they, them, or something. So I guess he's like Uber, you know, I don't know. Those kind of people, I have no idea. But it is, we live in a really bizarre fucking world. And if this guy's got 4 million subscribers, chances are there's some woke cuck that's in his fucking community that's just waiting, just waiting to fucking cancel this motherfucker. It's crazy, man. I'm not apologizing about the tweaks. I don't feel like I'm. I don't feel like it's wrong. Don't fucking apologize. You have a. You are right to have a fucking opinion. But I see the red flag. Here's the problem. Ready? Twitch. So I'm assuming he was he was canceled on Twitch. Twitch don't fuck around. Twitch does not fuck around. I'm telling you, it's the reason why we did not sign an exclusive deal with Twitch. They've reached out to us. They want us to exclusively stream on their platform. I'm like, do you understand the content that we do? And I've seen massive creators, like massive big creators get canceled on Twitch and run over to YouTube. YouTube sucks. Listen, YouTube's a problem, but it's not even near as crazy as Twitch. But So when I see fighters try to go over to Twitch to start a gaming channel, it's like, bro, you better make sure you, you, you cross your T's and dot in your I's. I'm going to stand by what I said. I'm not going to delete the tweet. You know, I just want to make sure everybody understands exactly the point I was trying to make. So Call of Duty? Oh, Call of Duty canceled him due to recent events we removed. Nick. Nick Merck's operator bundle from the Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone, Warzone store. Oh my god. Dude. So he signed he signed a fucking deal with Call of Duty. All right. Dude. This is outside of Twitch. He signed a deal with Call of Duty and he he decided that it was a good idea to give his opinion on fucking trans or gay 
Dude, are you out of your mind? Dude, the guy was play legit playing with fire. Oh my god. Listen, I don't think he should be canceled, but Call of he, look, think of it this way. Call of Duty is trying to make sure that people are buying their game. They're not looking to fucking get involved in any of this nonsense. If something is popular, they're just going to jump on it because they want people buying their fucking product. Oh my god. Dude, what a mess. All he said was kids shouldn't be there. That's it. And he's not wrong. You just got to be careful, man. When you sign a big brand deal, you got to read that small print. You have to read that small print, man. If you're going to sign a brand deal, you have to make sure you're able to have an opinion. And I guarantee there's a small print there. It's like, nope. So I'm not saying he's wrong. I'm not saying that at all. He shouldn't be canceled for that. But if you sign a contract, you better read all the, you better have a lawyer look over it and know your rights. Because clearly in that thing, they probably like, listen, this guy said something. He pissed off a community. We don't want any affiliation to this. And bounced. That's what happens when you work for a massive company. When you have a, you know, sign a, a, a deal with Call of Duty. Like, it's a big deal. It's not right, man. It's not right. But they Call of Duty can run their company as, listen, they're just trying to stay alive, right? They're not looking to get fucking canceled by the, the, the rainbow people. It's a fucked up world, man. And then you got this weird ass music. Goes with the pride theme. I didn't stop gaming journalists from smearing him over it. What? Call of Duty pulls YouTuber streamer Nick Merck skin over anti LGBTQ. Uh, okay. What's the smear? Just the article? Activision removes Nick Mer Merck's Call of Duty. Well, of course they got to write about it. It's a story. It's not smear. What the fuck? It's a story. I mean, I don't know what they said in the story. Absolutely pathetic display by Activision and these so-called journalists. Here's the thing, man. It sucks. It fucking sucks because, like I said, it's their company. They can run it however they want. You sign a deal with them. You fuck up. You piss off a bunch of people. What are they going to do? Go to bat for you and, and sink with you? No, they're going to fucking put the tail between their legs and say, let's get rid of this guy. And I don't think what he said is wrong. I don't think what he says is wrong. And, and here's what you have to understand. I think he's completely right in the situation, right? But if you're a company and you're trying not to get squashed by this monster juggernaut pride movement, you know, they're just trying to get out of the way. You know? So they see this guy getting nailed. What are they going to do? Go to bat for him and then get fucking canceled too? You know? Dude, I, I, I completely agree, man. I, I agree that's wrong. Boycott Activision. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd be down with that. I would boycott Activision because I do I even play Activision? I don't even know. I don't play Warzone. But it would be hilarious if everyone stops playing Call of Duty now because of that. You did it with Bud Light. Let's see. Let's see. Will you do it? You know what? I got to be honest with you. I got to be honest with you. This is bigger than the Bud Light thing. This is more fucked up. Like if you guys really want to stick together, fucking boycott this shit. This is bigger, man. It's a bigger fuck up. Like, like this guy really realistically did nothing wrong and he's getting canceled. But, you know, Activision is, they could run their company however they want, right? They just are trying to get out of the way. It's kind of crazy that everyone's bowing down to the community. How powerful? I guess they're pretty powerful. You haven't played Call of Duty since? All right. Me neither. Me neither. I, I'm boycotting. I don't play Call of Duty, and that's why, because I knew this was going to happen. That is pretty fucked up, man. Call of Duty goes full Bud Light, cancels Nick Merckx. So what's, uh, did Dr. Disrespect get involved in this? I like Dr. Disrespect, man. I just, I'm new to that. He's fucking hilarious, man. Dr. Disrespect's a funny motherfucker. Dude, that guy is, like, listen, I can't sit there and watch him. Like, yeah, like, I don't know how you guys watch us do this shit, man. Sit here and just bullshit. But, I mean, he's just playing straight up playing games, and that's it. Like, and answering super chats. But his his shtick is hilarious. 
saying, due to recent events, we have removed the Nick Merck's Operator Bundle from Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone Store. We are focused on celebrating pride with our employees and our community. This is a catastrophic mistake, and I want Call of Duty to burn to the ground over mm. this, just like Bud Light has, just like Target has. I am really fired up about this. I am really pissed off about this because they took a stance with the- There's gonna be a war again with straights and gays. Official video game brand. We have seen Call of Duty dipping into the social justice garbage over the years. This one right here takes the cake. The fact that they are mm. punishing someone for having the very controversial opinion of they should leave little children alone. That's the real issue. Now, he's responding to a tweet from MLG Puckett. That's crazy. And this is where the, the tweet says anti-LGBT protesters attack pro-LGBT demonstrators. Um, I'm not sure what the context is there, um, but... This guy Puckett says, this happened four blocks from my Overwatch League apartment. Americans are in a sad place right now. Let people love who they love and live your own life. Oh, my God. Really? So anytime someone says, let people... Dude, this guy. Bro, what is wrong with this guy? He's not wrong, but my God, he's fucking annoying. 365,000 subscribers. Holy shit, he's doing all right. But my goodness, I can't listen. People to this. love who they love and let people live their own life. So I looked up this guy named MLG Puckett. And MLG Puckett, Mr. I just want people to live their lives and be who they want to be. This is him Stop doing that voice, on January 6th, 2021. If you still support Donald Trump after he lost the election, I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. I want to think you can still be a good person. All right, but I'm this out. Is an All right, dude, bro, just fucking read it. You don't have to be a fag when you're reading the thing. You don't have to. Like, I get it. I get it. Like, what are you doing? What's with the voice? Like, what is wrong with you? Just read the damn thing. Why is he talking like an idiot? I get it. You're trying to fucking... Read it like as if the person is actually saying what they're typing. I get it, but fuck you. Image uh, from today. <laughs> I associate with you. It's shut up to my mind. What happened to let people live? Let people be who they want to be. All right, I'm done. So now you're basic. Bro, shut the. F Someone fucking stick a cock in that guy's mouth. He's not wrong, but I, I want him to be wrong. All right, anyone else talking about this? Tim the Tat Man. Oh wait, this is what this is this guy's a tat man? Okay. Doctor Doctor disrespects. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's go, Doc. Let's go, Doc. Let's see what he's got. It's a real man right here. Dude, that fucking guy. You don't know the news. This guy's a real man. He's Yesterday. a real he's an American hero. He's the two time champion, nineteen ninety something champion. This is a this is a man of all men right here. This is all natural hair and mustache. This guy does not dye anything. This guy, that's his real eyes. That's not even that's not even a fucking sunglasses. Those are his eyes. Uh, it just blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. That Call of Duty, Activision, made the decision to pull Nick Merckx's skin and bundle off the game. You know, champs, uh, I mean, just imagine. <laughs> I mean, Nick's, he's one of us. He's one of us streamers, right? <laughs> I mean, to get your own skin and bundle and that whole collaboration Look on the him. biggest shooter franchise out there and be one of the first to do it in, in Call of Duty, that's such a massive I don't even know what that means. Like, honestly. You know, and he worked hard. I have no idea what that means. What does he, what does he have, skins? Who, like, what does that even mean? Like, we sound like a bunch of idiots. He worked hard for those skins. And I love you, Dr. Disrespect. But I got to be honest with you. I don't know what the fuck is the big deal about these skins. So does he have a, or like, does he make money off of what? Fortnite skins? Like, the same, is that what it's like? Gun camo. All right, so he designed, what, clothes for a video game? And he's getting paid for it? They made him a character. That's actually a pretty big deal, right? They made him in the game. That's kind of cool. Spicy sausage. Let's go. 
All right, so if anyone buys their skin, they're making money off it. Yeah, so it's probably that's probably a big deal. Okay. Showing my age here. I'm like, what the fuck is this skin? Like, there was no skins when I was a kid. <laughs> there was just, you play video games. He made a skin. Hard. Years and years. I Joking. gotta, I wanna rip my skin off listening to this. Nice community. <laughs> he's, he's a great representation. I want a skin. Make a skin of me. Of, sh of a streamer gaming, you know? And just like that, he made it, got it in there. And they pull it down. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> That's a fucking tough one, man. <laughs> Dude, this guy is the best. This guy is my fucking hero, man. Dude, this guy is the best. He's so over the top. It's a real man right here. <laughs> Listen to this shit. Listen to him. Pull it down. That's a fucking tough one, man. <laughs> That's a tough one. For uh, what again? Yo, he's the so best. what I gotta do. Oh, dude. What we man. gotta do. This guy's a fucking man. Is uninstall the game. Is number one. I mean, don't get a mistake in this year's Call of Duty is the worst in its franchise. Uh, you uninstalling, Doc? But that decision. My I, COD's PR marketing team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a tall motherfucker, right? Uh, I'll tell you right now, man. That's a tough one. That's a tough one to digest for the two-time. <laughs> the two-time. Dude, he's a funny... This guy is the man. He makes gaming cool. So, uh, he put a short out that I was literally... Dude, I was crying, man. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down. Doctor disrespect his rabbit hole. Dude's out of his mind. But he like he does like crazy like long ass streams. If you're, I guess, if you're super into gaming, like it's. But at least he's enter he's an entertaining guy. Wait, where's the um where's the one where he's swimming in the pool? Like something popped up where he was swimming in the pool. I was cracking up. <laughs> where's where's where he's swimming? Hold on a second here. We need more of these guys. We need more of these here he is. Here he is. Here, he is. here we go. <laughs> Look at him. It's fucking god. Hold on, what? 25 minutes? Dr. Dr. Disrespect goes swimming with his headset. Oh my god. What the fuck? Why? Why? What loud? What is. What are you doing? <laughs> Who's live? Let's raid. I don't know. Is anyone live right now? <laughs> he looks like scuffed Ant Man. Yo, look at him. Look at him. Wait, hold on a second, hold on. Oh, he's on the phone. Watch, watch. Watch. We'll put him on the phone. <laughs> what do you mean he doesn't want to get on the phone? There he is. There is no compromise. Either he signs the multi-million dollar deal, or we go with the other one. Yeah. Call me back. My man's got a flip phone. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Dr. Disrespect. I want to talk about... <laughs> balance. You see... You're too distracted... from reality. Yeah. And these same distractions are pulling you into a world that lacks any spiritual substance good advice here we go you can't stop looking at your phones you can't stop worrying about trends and politics and drama and you're continuing to be pulled in it's pathetic did he have a, a seizure 
The water was too loud. <clears throat> Dude, the guy's hilarious. Doctor disrespects seizure. <clears throat> I haven't seen this. I saw when they were shooting at his house, so that was crazy. Doctor disrespects spazzes out while playing Apex. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. What is what is uh MJ? What is he fucking what is he crying about in the chat? Is he on another bender or something? Like what is going on? Oh wait, that's our teammate. Is he mad that I was talking about Call of Duty? Like what the fuck? Oh my god, they're also one shot. What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Come over there, Doc. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> you know, let's oh, God. oh, God. Oh. What the fuck? What did I just watch? What did I just... What did I just watch? That's it. I don't know what the fuck I just watched there, but it's interesting. He <laughs> was 24 seconds behind the stream. Uh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! <laughs> What's going on? The fuck happened? <laughs> oh my god, he's my kind of guy. He's a funny dude, man. That's a funny dude. Oh gosh. Oh my god, dude. Guy's out of his mind. Is anyone live? Let's see. Is anyone live now? Let's see. Oh, that was funny, man. <laughs> uh, it's weird. You know, like, I'm sure there's like a ton of people live. Is that Angel Gotti live? Let's see. She's been live a lot lately. Angel Gotti. She's been live constantly. Ah, uh, bummer. Oh, look at that picture. Was that her and her pop? Yeah, she's been live a lot. Someone said that uh, Justin Jr. jumped on. Was it Infinite Conscious? Someone came in the comments and said he popped on and got kicked out. I wouldn't even know where to find it. She's live like way too many hours. Your water just broke. <clears throat> Gotis? Who's that? Who goddess? Who's that? Let's see. Who's goddess? Goddess. It's gotta be someone live, right? Who's goddess? Or goddies you're trying to say? <laughs> you're saying Gotti. I'm like, who's goddess? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Jesse on fire. John Gotti the third responds to uh I was pure evil. What happened to Eddie? Wow, this is crazy. I just pumped in Gotti and Jesse on fire. Dude, this guy, he knows how to fucking hit an algorithm. Yo, it's kind of wild, man. Everything this guy touches, it hits the algorithm. That's crazy, man. That's I'm telling you, Adderall, man. That's the way. It's the way. Uh -uh. There's a uh, bro, 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 bro came up. Guru came up. Oh, he's talking about us. Reacts to the demise of the MMA. <laughs> I put in Gotti and Guru reacts to the demise of the MMA holes. <laughs> oh my God. 
Ah, uh, I love it. <laughs> the demise. Oh, it's funny, man. I right, saw so what's his face left. Shannon Sharp. He left the show with Skip. All right. All right I think I'm going to do a little blackjack and then call it. What time is it? 1036. All right. Yeah, a little blackjack and then we're going to we're going to get out of here. I'm going a little crazy tonight. I wasn't even supposed to be live. But I appreciate. What should I play this? Should I jump around? Nah. Nah, I'll play blackjack. Let's 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 let's, you know. Let's grow up. Let's grow up a little bit for a sec. Uh, this is the stream with Junior. Let's see. Oh, fuck. Where is it, though? <coughs> oh, excuse me. My allergies are fucked. They're so bad. Do you know what? Do you have like a timestamp? It's five hours. He's on Adderall. He's yeah. He's hyped up. The um, Johnny Bravo. Inadvert like he he kind of he kind of gave him a couple of zingers. It was dude. I was dying, man. <clears throat> he's like later on the show. Yeah, yeah. Some people need addies and baddies, man, to get through life. Uh, okay. Let's get out of this. Play a little little blackjack if you guys want to hop aboard with us and then we'll get out of here I still don't know how to turn off the PlayStation <laughs> here we go at a girl baddies and addies turn it off okay I saw Chubbs. Chubbs was putting pictures of himself on Twitter. He looks like a normal guy. He doesn't look like a mongoloid. I was thinking, like, I think, you know, sometimes we think you guys all look like mongoloids. You look like a normal guy, Chubbs. <laughs> Put a nice picture of himself out there on Twitter. Good man. Good man, Chubbs. All right. Here we go. Good man. Black check. He's a normal guy. He's a normal guy. Sometimes, you know, sometimes we just think the worst. We're like, oh, this guy is definitely a gremlin. But you're not. You're a normal dude. All right, here we go. Blackjack. Why is it not loading up? Okay, we'll do a little, we'll do some challenges. Here we go. We got $4,300,000 in the bank. Imagine looking at your bank account and seeing that. Imagine you go into your bank account and you see that sitting there. That's nice. That's good stuff. Father's Day. What are you guys doing for Father's Day? Anything special? Win the prize three times. Stage two and higher. Play 60 hands classic. We can do this. Easy work. Let's do it. We'll warm up with a 50K. Just warm up. Warm up here. If you guys want to jump in, you can. Three hour mark. All right, hold on. All right, I canceled this. Three hour mark. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Three hours. I was telling Jesse today, I'm like, you know, Junior's just, he's just, he's just a misguided human being. He's a young, misguided young man. Like, it's a shame he can't pull his head out of his ass. Which one's him? New Arena. They they got big, big fucking. Is he in there? El Fortuna, Tony Silo, John Minucci is not him. Real Deal is that him? Real Deal. Money at the UBS Arena. Yeah. I don't know which one. 
Central America and live like a king? Yeah, four million dollars. I'll pop up in a sec. Yeah, they got huge money and the person Angela. I took <laughs> I took M I tell you what, I I, I don't know how, how people are sitting in this. Sorry, listen, organized. It was an act. Yeah. <laughs> How do you okay, get in there? This kid's. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Yeah. okay <laughs> Look Let me him. just answer Victoria real quick, and then I'm gonna shut up. Victoria, he pops he's in. not gonna give your cousin the shot to fight him. Did he fuck? <laughs> he put a blazer on. <laughs> the kid fucking put a blazer on. See, this is what I'm saying. I told Jesse today, I was like, if we could just fucking put some guidance into this kid, he'd be a valuable asset, you know? He's just, he's, because he's, he's a funny kid. He's a funny kid. He's just, he's just a fucking knucklehead. He's got a fucking, bla he, he came in with a blazer on. Oh my God. Good shit. Logan? Yeah, Logan will not fight your cousin. The, the best part is a child just entered their chat and they're acting like nothing happened. A bunch of adults are just fucking yapping away. And uh, one happens to be a mob boss's daughter, and and fucking here you go, Justin Jr. just pops in, a child, and they're just not even saying anything, like it's normal. See that fight? I think not I never gonna happen. happen. I'd rather see. Uh, he might get to fight Jake Paul down the road, but Logan Paul will not get in there again after the fight. Yeah. They don't. Do they talk to him? Like what the fuck? He's just sitting there. I don't get why. I oh, here we go. <laughs> He always sounds miserable. Be, uh... Hold on. <laughs> he always sounds mis. He always sounds like his dog. He sounds like his pet just died. Did you he watch told... that fight though? He wasn't connected. I was at that fight. I was at he that was... fight. He wasn't <laughs> even hitting him right. He was like, I don't know. Like, Logan oh Paul. I'll tell you what. I don't get why a rematch should be uh, necessary. He just crowbarred himself in. Good for him. Why wouldn't it? Well, he got dominated. Again. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh god, did you just fucking hear what this kid said? That's what I'm saying. He could be very valuable. Why wouldn't it? Well he got dominated. Okay, he got dominated. Oh. And he's not wrong. Then wait a minute. Why did Floyd get a rematch with Maidana that time? He got dominated. Well, because that fight. Maidana, Maidana made it a competitive fight. One of the judges scored <laughs> the draw. Floyd was toying in there with Gotti. Wow, yo, kid, coming in with facts too. He he he, he countered with facts. Well, obviously you're pro. Mayweather. I, I, nobody Dude, he just countered with facts. Like, he's not wrong. He's completely right. And obviously, you're pro Gotti. But he said I, he was I winning. Not. I, uh, I but was let me ask you a question. For, I was rooting for John Gotti. I was rooting for John Gotti. Uh, you know, I, I felt I felt that, you know, he, sh he should have taken more chances. Obviously, you know, easier uh, than being in there. Right? But Maidana got a rematch because Maidana made it competitive. A lot of people scored the first fight for Maidana. Floyd was Dominating and Gotti toying with him in there, you know, maybe you want a rematch because the fight ended with the brawl and all that and You know forget about the brawl. Let me ask you a question. All right. You could be a reporter there I know boxing as well as anybody. Let me ask you a question. Why did Floyd have you don't know it that well Apparently the kid just fucking schooled you in two seconds. By the way, is Justin looking to get whacked? Like what's happening here? Have that fight stop and if I produce a video within the next five minutes of Kenny Bellis not talking in a hallway, talking to Floyd in the ring privately. Will you say he deserves well, a rematch? Let me ask you this. What oh, do you think? I asked what a question. You... If I could produce a video of Floyd telling him and him telling Floyd, I think that's it before it was stopped. What would you say then? Sorry, what was your question? <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you think would have happened if the ref didn't stop it? I, I think Gotti would have just gone. Uh, beat on for two more rounds, but yes, I felt the stoppage was weak. Stopping okay. the fight for profanity was a bit weak. But what do you think would happen if the ref didn't stop? I, I'm you not saying he would have some magical knockout. <laughs> this is what we wanted. This what three years ago from this fucking kid? Oh my god, dude! Three years ago, we wanted this from this kid. We want this kid fucking infiltrating. And fucking schooling people. And he puts on a blazer and does it now? Buddy, 
all I said is everybody deserves the opportunity to finish, especially when they are not hurt. Well, pro, that's all mid, I said. Mid fight, mid fight profanity isn't allowed in boxing. I felt it was a weak stoppage, nonetheless. But I don't know. I, I think I think you're being a super biased with your take here. Well, right. no, um, not at all. What, not at all. According to five time champ uh, Vinny Pazienza, this oh, yeah. was uh, bull crap and uh trash talking is done all the time and fights aren't stopped because of it yeah but it's in the contract like you know what i'm saying yes trash talk is all the time but still it's in the contract he literally signed the contract and it was it it was there so the i mean i i get it <clears throat> it's biased towards floyd but at the same time you still were getting warned you still were doing it and it is what it is the fight's over it's not even a real fight though it's a fucking exhibition so it's like it's all a mute point. Like it, John Gotti was so mad that a fight a fight got stopped, and it was a fucking exhibition where no one wins. Like no one wins this fight. Ever. Ever. Pazienza, yeah, I, I remember Pazienza. Pazienza he knows used to more than you do, MMA rants. Pazienza, what? what he knows more than you too, MRE. What? Is she drunk? Is Angel drunk? So, uh, well, I think a rematch would I think a rematch would be useless uh, would, would wouldn't make any sense. I I gave I gave Mayweather every round he was toying with him in there. I think if he put a little bit more heat on his shots, he could have got him out of there. But the commissioner, or whatever pre-fight, probably told him, "Let's give the fans a show. You know, take it easy on this guy." <laughs> That's probably what happened. Oh, really? This is such a troll move. Such a fucking amazing troll move. It's like a proud moment here. I was literally having this conversation with Jess today. Literally. Like, when we were going to the doctor, Jess was going to get checked out. We're driving, and I looked at her, and I was like, you know, fucking Junior, man. If we could rein this kid in. You know? If he wasn't fucking a loose cannon and, and like, a, you know... A wild kid. Like, the kid's smart, man. He's a smart kid. He's holding his own in here. He's just, he's murking this whole fucking panel of, I mean, listen. It's, I mean, it's pretty easy what he's doing here, but still, he's a kid doing this, you know? Please, that's what you think. Take that's that's speculation Angel, at best. Angel, time that's out. Speculation time out. at best. Time out. Time out. <laughs> yeah, what? He's not even laughing. The best is he's got this straight face going. Like, he is trolling the fuck out of these people. I don't know how how did he get on this panel? What was he just trolling the chat? Like, yo, give me a link, give me a link. Put it on a he put on a blazer and I'm sitting there and so just ripping him apart. Yo, <laughs> hold on, hold on. My man, there was no commission of this fight. I know. What's the chat they saying? They even brought their own referee with them. What, what are you not understanding here? These people are just nuts, I swear to God. Yeah, they're nuts. They're nuts. He's actually bringing no, facts. No, no, Where is he this fellow? Off. Why did he... Ah, uh, because he doesn't want to get whacked. No, here's the thing. Like, I'm pro Gotti all the way, but Justin's completely right. Oh, Beat on for two more rounds. But, yes, I felt the stoppage was weak. Stopping okay. the fight for profanity was a bit weak. But what do you think would happen? He jumped off. Reps and I, I'm and not Gotti saying... Gotti would have some magical knockout. I didn't say that, buddy. All I said is everybody deserves the opportunity to finish, especially when they are not hurt. Well, pro that's all mid, I said. Mid fight, mid fight profanity isn't allowed in boxing. I felt it was a weak stoppage. Wait, I want to see. Hold on, I want to see. Well, when we get, uh, no, not, when bounces, this oh, yeah. was uh, bolt and fight. Wait, I want to see when he get bounces out. What happened? Out the I went back too far. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. <laughs> referee with them. What, what are you not understanding? <laughs> These people are just not. Alright, put the camera off. No, no, no. Where he is this fella? He jumped off. Why did he jump off? <laughs> because he's an ignorant clown. He well, didn't right understand. Oh, he's he didn't right say here. John. Hold on. I'm going to say it clearly. He turned off the camera because he's dying laughing. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> I'm going to say it like a man. I'm not going to bullshit you and say John would have knocked him out. Why wasn't he, he given the he opportunity? Was knock him out. Why wasn't he, he given the opportunity to finish? Ask the ref, but guess what? He wouldn't the have won. The ref who gets paid and travels <laughs> with Floyd Mayweather? He wouldn't have won. He, uh, he would have just gotten toyed with. Nobody was going to win. He just wanted to go eight rounds. 
Nobody was going to win the fight. There was no judges there. Yes, it, it was an exhibition, but you know what I mean. Uh, Mayweather was toying with them. Uh, okay, but why, did why he go not eight let him rounds? finish? If he was toying, why didn't he go the eight rounds? If Yeah, but here's the thing. Like, because they broke the rules. They fucking broke the rules. Like, like that was it. There's no judges, and it's an exhibition. They can do whatever the fuck they want. It is what it is. You don't just keep fucking, like... You mean to tell, like... I don't understand, like... We went... They went, what, six rounds? And Gotti wasn't able to do anything. And when Floyd wasn't expecting it, that's when he wanted to run around. And, like, I don't know. It's just weird. It's a weird scenario. And I like Gotti, man. Gotti's a cool dude. But come on, man. Two more rounds. Four minutes more. That's all it was. Four minutes more. Why didn't he let it go? What's your answer? Johnny before that, and he could Give him a chance to answer. He thought he was gonna knock him out in the first or second That's round. He didn't. Like that. Who is this kid? Look at the look at the chat. I'm not the ref, but fights have been stopped. Uh, fights have been stopped. Uh, I'm not the ref, <laughs> but fights have been uh, stopped, cut short. Uh, by profanity in the past. No, that's not true. Okay, okay. Name, name one. Name, 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 name the name fight. It. Name it. I don't know off the top. Yeah, of I was going to say. He's laughing again. He's laughing. If you're gonna, if you're gonna say something, bring the receipts. Otherwise, your your point is is invalid. <laughs> you know what's hilarious? They have no idea they're talking to Jack Dempsey's, what, is his grandson? Right? Isn't it Jack Dempsey's grandson? They have no idea they're talking to Jack Dempsey's grandson. Like, he, he, he could literally just drop that bomb on them, and they would be like, what? The attorney, he leave. The Leo. <laughs> they have no idea. <laughs> we don't need an attorney. I just turned my camera off. He's laughing. Okay, well, let me ask you a question, and I'm being very serious with you now. Why not give him the opportunity to go the eight rounds? Explain that. He was willing to take the beat, and if that's what well, you're going to say. Well, look, all I'll say is this. Mayweather, Mayweather's exhibition fights have gone to a, to a decision in the past. You know, Name, the, the name me one Paul besides fight. Logan Paul. Name me one besides Logan Paul. He had he had one other the fight in uh the fight overseas w went to a okay decision. and what happened there what happened there it went to a decision yeah I, and where was it hold on where was it televised and what happened after the fight come on you know so much I'm gonna back up you're the professional what are you talking about I'm saying uh Mayweather uh, there there are multiple Mayweather exhibition fights that I went the decision went that I went to decision the Aaron the Aaron Chalmers fight. The fight against Logan Paul, the fight against Don Moore, I I think I think the Gotti fight would have won the would have won. What was the rules? For, what were the rules? Wait a minute, he he's right. What were the rules with Don Moore? Please tell me. What were the rules? It was yeah, they were, there were it, it was an exhibition, non-scored bout. This was another non-scored bout. Were they allowed to punch in the head? Yes, that's never. You are, are you sure no, about that? Never. Are you sure about that? It's illegal. <laughs> Justin's making shit what up now. What are you now. talking about? The guy had a head. He hit him in the back of the head. Forget about this. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Back you go. guys start doing it. Ah, uh, Justin yeah, no, fell let's, flat. Let's just show again. Suck a punch. Piss Piss going off. Off. Piss Piss going oh my god! Here we go. What the fuck is showing this? Set? Well, then Tony Silo does. Oh, wait, how long is he on for? I don't know. Yeah, yeah I want to see when he leaves. Shit and whisper sweet nothings in his ear. Yeah. I think you guys, I, I think your opinions. Oops, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> it would appear that. Uh, <laughs> oh, a <laughs> oh, man. That's how they let him leave? Uh, it's a bummer. That's a bummer. I would have liked to hear like one more thing from him come out of there. But look at that. It was a good performance. He, he kind of fell apart at the end. Kind of fell, but, but considering. How he went in there and was holding his own with them was was actually pretty impressive. So I gotta give him his props for that. That's hilarious, man. That's fucking funny. Dude, what the hell? That shit was hilarious. A fucking kid goes in there and held his own. For, you know, the first half he did. Kind of fell apart at the end. <clears throat> but um but yeah, good for him. Dude, like what does he gain out of that? Is what is he gonna do? Is he gonna clip that and put that somewhere? Like what I wonder what he benefits. Like, what is... I mean, I guess he got us to watch it. 
What is um? What was the? I'm curious what the goal was, just to get on there and troll. If that was just the case, damn man. I wonder what his uh his motive was behind that. We're just just a fuck. He must have had some friends watching or something. They looked bad uh, just shutting him down though. Yeah, in the beginning they were getting fucked up. Like just Justin was piecing them all up. And then they kind of came back, you know. They had a little comeback at the end. Where Justin kind of uh he kind of fell apart a little bit. 200k, let's get it. But still, regardless, I, th I still think Justin wins. Justin won in that exchange. The decision goes to, to Junior. What's the name of his channel? Uh, was it MMA Rants? Is that what he goes by? I think. That's probably Justin right there, the ultimate snake. That's probably him. <laughs> that's, pro that's probably him right there. Justin, why don't you just fucking come in with your regular name? The ultimate snake. <laughs> uh, but I mean, just hang up on him. Says, yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Six. Bus, 11, baby. Fifteen. Twenty. Oh, but we all lose. It's okay. It's all right. Dude, like, what the fuck? Good job, man. Place your bets, please. <clears throat> How long have you been lurking for? Seven. I'm going to double on this. Ready? Ba -pow! 17. Take that. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Power move by me. Ooh. Sassy. All right. Here we go. Bust. Bust. Bust the Ruski. Ooh. How you doing? 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 We in the lead. Power double. Come on. It's an elimination round. Place your bet, please. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh that's, that's great. But you don't... Oh, two people are still in it, though. But at least we all lost together. Place your bet, please. <laughs> Got the fan blowing on you. Alright, I'll stay with it. Whoa, you're done. What are you gonna do? Twenty. You gotta push. Okay, so we got rid of one. I gotta get rid of Dex over here with a smiling dog. Place your bed, please. Alright, alright. Yeah, I will I will let you guys in for sure. For shizzle. We're going heavy with this one. I should stand on this. And hope. I, sh I could have switched. Yes. Alright, great. Perfect. Bust, baby. Ah. Fuck. Alright, we got this, guys. So, it's a wrap. So, what case? One, two, or three, chat. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. First game, first win. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. Just get blackjack. Put us out of our misery. Nah. I'm even going to switch. Because I got it. One, two, or three. Two? All right. I'm going to switch for the hell of it. Just for the hell of it. See what we got. <laughs> Double. <laughs> he just left. He just... Because <laughs> I'm fucking around. <laughs> I still win, bitch. Two, three. Two came first. We're going to go over two. If three hits... It's for $200,000. Here we go. The worst one. No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. That's right. Win's a win. Lowest case. <laughs> All right. Damn, three's got it. Three's got it. Damn, 200K. Poof, out the window. Million. Ah, all right. We'll win this one. We're winners here. We're champions. 
Oh, let me open up goat milk. Simply the best. Better than all the Can rest. The best, Better than everyone. Let's go, Ace. I'll take it. I'll buy that for a dollar. What are you going to do, buddy? He... Whoa! Hits the 18 on the swap -arooski. What are you going to do, brother? you got to swap, too. I know you got to swap. You have it in you. Swap early. Swap. Swap shop. He swaps. Gets a 13. He's going to... He's going to double now. Watch. Watch. Oh, he just busts. Good thing you didn't double. 10. 16. Damn, busted. I didn't want you to bust. Okay. We got to win back that money the little seal lost us. The scrumble 40 year old PTSD for the strength. Better than everyone. Mm hmm. Oh, doubling. Wow, against the nine. 11, 15. Oh, nice 11, double. 20. From the depths of hell. He's back in the game. Good double. Place your bet, please. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh oh. Oh boy. Not blackjack. I should surrender. Let's see what he does. What are you gonna do? Oh, sexy. If I surrender, I could still. I'm gonna surrender. I gotta play strategy here, guys. What are you gonna do? Power move? Power move? You gonna hit? Power? You can take a strangle lead. He stands. Oh, that's a bu <laughs> That's <laughs> stand. What a freaking idiot. All right, back in the chip leader spot. Let's take this guy out. This guy is a mess. Better than all the rest. I want to double, but oh no! Sixteen, twenty. Oh yes! You try to be a powerful motherfucker. Look what you did. Oh, that's good. That worked out great. Place your bet, please. Better than all the rest. I don't know why I got Tina Turner stuck in my head. You know, I would normally split this. But why weak in my hand? Let's just get the dub. Seven, 16, Come on. Ah, oh, shit, man. I wanted you to get something. I would have even taken a push. Couldn't get this guy out of here. 714. All right, I'm going to bet 10. Uh, switch. Ah, oh, damn. Double. <laughs> 16, seven. He left. We want, all right, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. We can, we can get it back here, guys. We won again. One, two, or three. You have nine seconds. I'm thinking, I'm thinking three again. One, two, three, one, two, three. Times are running. One sausage was good. The rest. All right. Here we go. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I'm not listening to you motherfuckers anymore. <laughs> That's it. All right. One more. Let's go. Damn it. We try again, we try again. We're two in a row, two wins in a row. Oh! 250,000, okay. All right, guys, pick your cases early. We're gonna win this. Simply the best! Place your I gotta wind this thing down. I've been going way too long. Well, it's been a pleasure, guys. It's been quite the pleasure. I should stay. But I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch ass ninja, baby. Oh! Oh, oh! Should I split him again? 
No, nah, no, nah, it's okay. It's all right. I'll stay. I'll stay. Let's go. I'm going to crush these guys in one hand. Simply the... I should have probably split it again. But no, I would have been a 16. Oh, boy. Come on. Make it. 17. Oh. Wow. 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 That, like, all sorts of sucked. Oh, my God. Damn, man. I could have I could have freaking had a stranglehold there. That was like... 10... Now. I kind of want to double. 13. I want to double. 20. Like, no 10s out there? I just want to... Yeah, let's double it. Fuck it. Oh! Oh, oh, what a fucking move. Just give me the case now, guys. Give me the case now. What a fucking double. I tell you, I'm a blackjack phenom. Blackjack phenom, baby. What a double. That was powerful. Now I'm going to... I'm going to surrender. Nice hit. Shit. I got to surrender. Do you surrender the time? <clears throat> this guy's gonna make a move now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nineteen. Middle's out. This guy's coming back. It's coming back. A new. Well, I've actually played with this woman before. <laughs> Place your bet, please. Late nights, uh, sitting on the toilet. I've played with this girl. Fun fact. We're gonna go. To, we're gonna do this again, guys. We sure are. Oh boy. 13. Oh boy. Trying to make power moves here, man. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? 16, oh my god. I'm done. <sighs> Fucking hell. <clears throat> I'm done, guys. Shit. I tried to get powerful on a new. She's she's scorned from times I've burnt her in the past. Ten, bitch. Watch me hit a blackjack. I got this. Ten. Split him. You bastard. I hate you. I hate you anew. Come on, let's just double up on this. Let's double up on this. Let's double up, baby. Oh, no. Push. I'm done. No possible way for me to pull this off. Are we on fourth or fifth? All right, I'm out. I'm not even going to play. Go away. No, I'm gone. I'm, I'm going to rage quit. Leave me alone, Anu. Pick your case and enjoy it. I'm going to move up to 200,000 real quick. Go like this. Let's go. You told JVM I want my nephew front and center by Monday morning. It would be nice. It would be nice. I got to be honest with you. I hope he comes tomorrow morning. We may miss a little Fuku off Friday, but a little Bellator. I'll watch. I'll watch in the hospital. <clears throat> but um It would be nice. This way Jess, I feel bad. She's like, she's really hurting. Alright, so six hundred K. We've bumped it up a little bit. Got a little more dicey with this game. Made a little more salty. Yeah, I got some Bellator. Should be good. I didn't schedule that stream. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's happening. I don't think we're going to be fooging off on a Friday. Uh-oh. This guy with the miracle $2 bet. Nah, fuck it. You don't have it. Not blackjack. I told you. Now, I feel the need to surrender. Yeah, I got to surrender. Dude. You had a 20 and you... What the fuck? Dude, did I just see that? How the hell did he... How damn right? How'd you pull that off, damn right? Like, what the hell? 19. How? <laughs> Dude, you had a 20. Like, what the hell? Hits and gets a 1. Place your bet, please. Maybe Fuku Friday at the hospital, maybe. 
Let's go. Blackjack. Oh, mother of God. I might have to use my switch early. Nah, I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna hope you do the same. Let's hope for a bust. Damn right. Bust. There it is. Good move. Good move. Man, if I would have hit, I would have had. I would have done pretty well. All right. Uh, all right. I gotta win this hand. It's very important. I saved my switch for this hand. Do you remember the time? I'm low stack. Low stack. Good luck to me. Good luck to me, baby. Big money. Big money. There it is. There it is. One more. Not blackjack. Fuck. Fucking hell. I feel like I should switch it. Can I get a bust? Thank you. Busted. Thank you. I will stand now. Let's go 20, baby. Show me the 10. Uh, show me a 19. Oh, even better. Even better. Even better. Just like that, we went from last to first. Knocked one out. And we're back in business. Thank this is our game. My life. My life. Na -na 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 -na. Jack. Give me a bust. Give me a busting. Makes me feel good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Piscettios. What are you going to do, champ? Good luck. I'm going to have to switch. Oh, fucking hell. Damn it. I burnt a switch for nothing. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Like, what? Doubles against a 10 and hits it? Place your best, I'm, I'm done, guys. We need a big one. We need a big one here. Here it is. Oh, he's going to fucking split. I was going to double. Let's see what, if I would have doubled. 15. Oh, okay. Nine. Good thing I didn't 18. double. Ah, oh, shit, I'm done. There's no way to go. What are you gonna bet? Man, this is gonna be interesting. This could be interesting because I'll go all in. I still have a shot. Like, I need him to lose. This is a tough bet for him. Very tough bet for him. Like, where does he go? He's probably going to go 875, right? He's probably going to match mine. He goes all in. So he understands. He understands how this works. So here we go. This is it, boys. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck you. Not now, if I get a 10... Okay. Come on. 17. Fucking hell. I, 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 got, I got a hit. 18. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> there's no way I could have won. I couldn't have won. Yeah, there's no way for me to win that. Damn, guy had to get 20. All right, we'll go one more. We'll go one more. Shit. Shit. One more and then we're done. One more and done. This is it. This is where we ride. Final one. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by. Let's end with a victory royale. 2.5 mil or something. Damn, man. Damn. I started off so good tonight. If I would have hit those case, the right cases, that's, that was my biggest problem. I didn't hit. I didn't pick the right cases. 600k. I'll take it. Is that a dick? Is her name a dick? Yeah, it's a dick with jizz coming out of it. What the fuck? That's a weird ass. <laughs> this chick's got a... Her name is a dick. Can you see it on the stream? It's literally a dick. My love. My love. Da -da 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 -da. I sense a double coming. Uh oh, split them. Split them up. Split them up, champ. Split them up. It's a six. Had a girl. Say good for you. Don't say I didn't help you out. What do you think? You gonna split them again? No. You're not gonna do it again. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, dude. I'm fucked. Oh, no. I kind of need... Good luck. Oh, my God. I... Fucking hell. Eight. Nineteen. Nineteen. Oh, God help me. 
okay. It's alright. Don't panic. Don't panic. Elden Ring. I forgot I even had that game. This is the last one here. We're gonna finish it with this one. It's not looking good. But... Thank you for subscribing. And cleaning your vagina. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Good luck. Let's go all in. I sh I don't uh, recommend that. I don't recommend that, but. Fourteen. Yes. Champs, baby, 18. champs. Champs. Sometimes you just gotta use a little lady luck. And we just got first place. Okay. Place your bet, please. Thank you. Very ballsy double. Uh oh, we're doing it again. We're running. We're running it again. Sixteen. We're running the double train. We're feeling it, baby. There's no place. To oh damn! You probably took the bust card, you fucking idiot. Ah, oh, you did. No, you took the bust card. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they took the bust car. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, I'm out. Thank you guys for stopping by. Had a great time. Had a great time hanging with you guys. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have a baby coming out. See you later. See you later, alligator. I took the bus card. <sighs> celebrate. It's time to celebrate the greatest show in the world. Hey, This is an oldie but goodie. Celebrate. I can't help but celebrate. Let's masturbate. And commemorate. Flip forth the hate. Let's get this straight. I came to make MMA great. Again, my friend. Wonderful, wonderful. Creative with the trait of stimulative, non cooperative attitude. We got the gratitude. So we celebrate the rate of the hoes and the trolls. Helping us make the goals this hierarchy. We're an army, the most snarky, no mercy. Controversy, we're the wonderful MMA underworld. Stand up! Pearl Cream.